Alright. Go! No Japan! No warrior now! This park! Microphone check, one, two, what is this? No Japan! No warrior now! Parks on the board. Mike, check, you know the fucking vibes. No, 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 no. They keep telling me not to curse in the first 90 seconds or two minutes of the podcast or whatever, this, five. whatever the stat is. I think it's five. Oh, I, I, pa I passed. No, Joe Biden. No, 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 okay. no, no. Congratulations. No. I might ruin it real quick, though. No, Warrior Man. This, 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 this park, 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 this park. What's that? Uh, the... <laughs> Listen, first of all, none of this is possible without my guys. Let's get one thing clear. Huh? Huh? Fuck all that normal introduction stuff, man. I feel that. Okay. That's how you feel. Give him the that? Grammy speech. Yeah, nah, niggas is here, man. Yeah. Huh? Going on seven years almost, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. St let's yeah, stop and reflect. Talk your talk. Uh, uh SoundCloud uh, listenership. What up? What I haven't worried? I want to step on you. I said one of those pods. I'm just in a good mood. Uh, cool. I'm just in a good mood. I'm with you. SoundCloud listenership, what's going on? Apple listenership, what's going on? YouTube viewership, what's going on? <clears throat> Google. Pardon me. Google listenership, what's going on? Yahoo. Everywhere except for the places that we are purposely not putting this shit. What's going on? <laughs> Salute to y'all. Hope everybody's good. Sending beams of love and light everyone's way. Mm. Offering nothing but love and grace. Okay. That's how I'm, here. That's how I'm giving it up. Welcome to episode 398. 399. Oh, wow. uh oh. Uh oh. Milestone ish. Saturday's it's a giving milestone. Another I didn't realize it. <laughs> Another 200 in the game. Look at that. Unlight day in the office. Another 200 in. Yeah. yeah Back to work. Super uh, regular. Back to work. Uh, welcome to 399, episode 399 of the Joe Button Podcast. He is I and I am him. Uh, your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored or lowly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Brother Maul is here. Brother Parks I'm is here. here. Brother Rory is here. Erab the God is here. Eric's out. Uh, not Erickson. Fucking what's your name? Tavon is here. <laughs> Corey is here. Alex the Great is here. Young, young Baze, chilling. Everybody is here. Baisley is here. Before we go any further, uh, powered by, sponsored by, enabled by, empowered by, spoiled by uh, Cash App, the greatest app in the world. Garrett, what's going on? You know the vibes as well, gentlemen. And, and for our 400th episode, Joe will be cash apping a young woman $400 live on air. Mm, mm. I like that. that. That's marketing. Maybe Rory. 400 women, mm. $400. Mm. Or yeah, okay. You know what this moment reminds me of right here? <laughs> or a dollar to 400 women. <laughs> what moment? This moment right here. What it reminds Rory is speaking for me. What it reminds you <laughs> Speaking for your money. What it reminds you of? Uh, you know, you, you ever go out to eat with a, with a, with a young lady, mm. you pay for a beautiful meal. Mm. She's kind, so she offers to leave the tip, but she leave a tip that, like, you wouldn't have left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she put 20 yeah. on the 500. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rory. I am so down with cash apping women. I've only been trying More to cash app people, people in need for well over a year, only to be blocked by fucking greedy, stingy corporations. But if I, I were to do that, Rory, it wouldn't be this measly four hundred dollars that you speak <laughs> of. Please Give don't speak for horn. me. I'm big Joseph. <laughs> big trick vibes out here. I'm paying bills, not four hundred. I like it. Well, four hundred's uh, a bill. No, I'm paying rent. High rent. High rent. If your rent is four hundred, <laughs> okay. you're not getting this dick. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking some, about? Set Ma some male standards. Mm. Set some boundaries. Male for yourself. standards. Mm. I just seen Cardi gift uh, Offset a Lamborghini, and, and you're asking us to. Settle. Black sure Kings settle. is back. Mm. Huh? Cool. And we're going to honor that man today. We should. Offset. We should. Yeah, like and, and Cardi for setting the standard of spoiling her Black King after fooling you all and telling you guys that she's leaving and she's unhappy and it's not because of cheating and then coming that she tricked us, tricked us all. Mm. Salute to that man and congratulations. Round of applause to fucking King Offset. I like it. Queen Cardi, like goddammit. And snuck a video of her cleaning the crib. Sorry, WAP. Sometimes you gotta clean. <laughs> yeah, he he put that one to bed, huh? I like that. Hey, that, hey, that, 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 that one. Hey, that one didn't get talked about enough. <laughs> <laughs> Say yeah, right? Got that ring without cleaning, huh? It's like you sweeping up the living room right now. That bathroom was spotless, spick and span. <laughs> Lying in the songs. That's great when you live with like one of the hottest rappers and you could just film some shit. Film them lying in their songs. 
Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> queen the bad mother. She in there dropping shit, breaking shit. That's right. King offset Queen Cardi, man. Here for them. Gentlemen, how's everybody doing? How Good. was your weekend? How was your week? How's your mental health? Good, quiet, quiet. It was a little disappointing. How's your text inbox? What was disappointing? How's it how's the DMs? Oh, I haven't been in there in a while. Got it, got it. Understood. Same. When, um, when was same, the last time same. a woman slept over your house? Oh, it's been a while. Oh, okay. You don't miss it? Nah. Yes, you do. You don't like to snu- you don't like to <laughs> snuggle do. in the morning? Do you Not have really. you slept at a woman's house? Recently. Not recently, but yeah. I was I was never into that. Re- I was I was recent, always into that. Recently is subjective, right? Oh, yeah. Not, no, not recently. recently. No, <laughs> not recently. No. What do you do to fight the lo- loneliness? <clears throat> Count this money. Mm. Come on, man. Look a shot for Big Pop in heaven. You know Hold on, let me turn this up. <laughs> Count this money. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what we are. <laughs> Parks, so Rory, what's going on? Do you have a lot of cash in the house? Or? <laughs> chill, you lock, chill. Lock into the BLA. Look at Vlad. Look at Vlad. Look at Vlad. Look at Vlad. <laughs> so where, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, do you keep it in a safe? Where is the safe located? <laughs> <laughs> the back bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> are the firearms in your home registered? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I ain't going to hold you. It seemed like Vlad kind of leaned into that shit a little more. Like I was, Oh, yeah, no. When yeah. he, when he <laughs> was watching the cash shit that... He he re-uploaded. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty behavior. Vlad is sick. How many people did, exactly yeah. did you... A oh, 150 is a cut, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many people exactly did you give a buck 50 to oh, when you man. were in prison? Then he re-uploaded, I seen on my YouTube homepage shit. <laughs> Sue Surf tells Vlad he is a cop. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaning into this, right? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Cass, Vlad, Vlad Cass, understands the internet. Cass tried to get out of it, too. He's like a few... What is a few? Yeah, yeah. More, more than four. Like, and he puts on this little fucking the voice, the Vladdy voice. Yeah. The crazy shit is, I heard he's not even in the room with them. It's a laptop that they talking to. What? Yeah. Wait. I heard the same thing. I'm dead serious. I, I wasn't sure. Always was... or just during quarantine? Oh, oh, that is a lie. That has to be a really? lie. Really? That's okay. hilarious. <laughs> you fucking imbeciles are sitting down talking to a laptop. And telling them all your nefarious deeds. Yeah. <laughs> nefarious is a very funny word. I don't even know what it means, but I, don't I agree. It might have been accurate. I don't know. <laughs> Let me stop. I don't want to judge anybody that just sat down with Vlad, but... With that's Vlad's un- laptop. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate <laughs> to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Did Vlad invent Zoom? Inhaled a little bit of my spit there, buddy. You, you okay over there? I'm good. <laughs> Keep that mask on. All right. <laughs> don't, don't endanger us. Yo, Parks brought to my attention that I was irresponsible with my platform last week, and that totally was not my intention. So before I start, let me make very clear that I do know that COVID is a real thing. Uh, My family has been hit by it. People that I love have suffered and transitioned from it, and I had it as well. So if I was irresponsible in my messaging last week, I apologize. What did you say? I don't know, but I I, I don't know. Uh, know. We we were discussing if... People were going to take the vaccines, and we made a few jokey jokes about it, and we weren't serious. But the people that think everything that should ever be said is serious when it's about a serious topic got very upset that we were being irresponsible with our platform. To them, I say, fuck you, and if you want to get the vaccine, please get it. And if you don't, that's your business. Oh, yeah. Well, All right, I'm not. That's Rory Farrell, <laughs> 28 <laughs> Journal Square. <laughs> yeah. I echo those same sentiments, Rory. Uh, and if so, you want to go to 28 Journal Square, have a blast. <laughs> I will not be there. <laughs> um, so we'll other than that, when you're there. So everybody's good? Everybody's feeling good? Feeling all right? Yeah, just good. trying, just trying good, to keep my, my head and prostate above water, man. Yeah. Has, you know? has, everybody, has everybody kept their pulse on the culture this week? Yeah. Ready to dive in and discuss? Yeah. yeah it's, a lot of, it's a lot of weird shit going on. I was around the pulse. Really? Oh, yeah. Not letting you lead in. Lead in. When you lead in, we get morbid. No, no, no. Nothing, cra- nothing like that. No, no, no morbid shit. Oh, okay. No. Let's start with something a bit more jovial. <sighs> she can only uh, play the song one she time. Hmm? She can only play the record one time. If you think she has one record, yeah, Ma, I didn't not, say that's not, not what I I'm said. Not doing this with you, I love Keisha. That's not what I said. Then, I, then sound I'm like I'm just it. saying everybody like <laughs> heaven sent. Like everybody it. going heaven sent. Cra- that's one record she can play. Sent from heaven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what's going on. I love that, that record. It's <laughs> classic, classic record. Come outside to hear it. Me? No, her. Oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Hey, don't do that. It's a great tune. Come don't out. Do that. Come out and join us. See, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't paint that narrative. All right. So listen. You're not taking COVID seriously. To, the, to yeah. those of you, to those of you who who are unaware, right? Millions, millions of music lovers across the country had their pre parties and their 
drinks Man. and their hors d'oeuvres set up. The they had low. their trusted COVID circle group mm-hmm. there. Girlies got dressed up. Oh my God, there was outfits. Yeah, I'd never seen people prep for verses like this one. Yeah. Like promoting the the production that was happening the entire day. Yeah. Hadn't seen that yet. This one looked like looked like it would be one for the ages. The ladies were sure. ready. And me. I was about to say oh, yeah. I, 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 Parks, I, I was tingling. Yeah. <laughs> well we're always right re- whenever the ladies are ready, we're ready right behind. Exactly. Them. Yeah. I was ready to dig through those dark memories of exes who have done me wrong. Mm-hmm. When you felt like you should have cheated. I should have. <laughs> oh man. When me and Rory get that, uh, when we, when we get hurt together. That's that Stockton Hornet set Ooh, going. When y'all get hurt together. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh when we on the injured reserve. <laughs> oh my god! You Look seen, out! You should have seen me and Joe at Sugar Daddies when we were both hurt. <laughs> <laughs> me and Rory was Sugar Daddies. Me and Rory have been both hurt together, oh, like yeah, yeah. out trying to cope together, and, right? And in places that do not make you feel better, just numb you for like a few hours. I'll be honest; those type of things uh, uh, between Rory and I have shot him up on my friend list. Yeah. Sharon like, Karen I never Hayden. intended for him to be this hot. <laughs> <laughs> he Having surpassed all expectations. I mean, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> he surpassed all friend expectations. Listen, uh, happy birthday to my youngest, Lex. I love you. Listen, when Lex was being born, Rory was on my phone. Yo, nah, tell me the hospital right now. I'm pulling up. Oh, he was in there. It's like, Wow. <laughs> wow! Thanks, man. What? Okay, I don't, may, maybe don't hang. A, uh, maybe that's an Irish culture thing. I don't know. Like you go to see your friends' kids be born, your family members. That's a thing in my, no, my you know culture. Irish. People. I felt really special, man. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's what friends are supposed to do. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I don't think I was allowed in the hospital when Trey was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't your baby mother's friend. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I wasn't friends. No, no, don't do that. That was I was there. I was there the entire time, no matter what was going on with us. That's the last time I heard her say loving words to me when she was under that C-section drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, as soon as that tr- was, that's the truth. Oh, yeah, fucking no. hate we, you. We never spoke again. <laughs> <laughs> we never spoke again. <laughs> but that C-section shit, the truth yeah, come out. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, during that last fight, I was like, is she awake? <laughs> Can she talk? Her whole stomach is folded <laughs> flat. Over. Doc, give her another dose. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is an asshole. But yeah, but the, the point is, no, I didn't know that. But I was really happy that Rory was there with me. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Your there. friend should be there. Because for like the dude, that can be a real boring experience. You're not yeah. supposed to say that. Yeah. Shh. It's 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 a nerve. It's, a, it's the waiting game. Yeah, it's a nerve waiting game. Like your yeah, nerves is spots like you can all be in place. there when you can't be in I'm there. I'm talking like I know. No, 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 no fucking kids. <laughs> As the guy, you're just supposed to like be there in support of of your queen, and it's like they tag you in when they need you. Mm. Yeah. But until then, like they're doing all the tough shit of mentally preparing. Wait, waiting for the whatever meter to hit the right shit so and, they can they're doing everything physically pushing a human being out of their body and then <laughs> that part mm-hmm. like I got shits that I took that was really oh, tough yeah. yeah yeah. think about it yeah the nerve of my prostate <laughs> <laughs> to, to even have gripes with me well listen I don't need to think about it because boy is God good both of my kids had some type of trouble coming out like I think with, with Trey the umbilical cord was wrapped around his mm. neck. Yeah, that's common. Yeah. So had to go in there and save my baby. Trey, I love you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Lex's head got stuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that the scientific uh, verbiage yeah, of what happened? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what the doc said? <laughs> Ew, it's stuck. No, they tried to tiptoe around it like me and Sin wasn't right. Well, she was going through it. <laughs> like we wasn't right there. No, I, was, I was right there. I was right there sure looking at their face. It didn't feel great. Yeah. His head is stuck. Do you want to see him? I'm not looking down there. <laughs> like, get, get my baby out. But then you can't yell it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was a tense moment. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. It's got to be tough to like, be like cool. Push your baby out of here. You can't tell a woman that who has to do the pushing. Yeah. That's she's never pushed before. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. pushing harder than ever. To, to, make the, and it's still not. You got to hold the push. The, the, it's a lot. The, yeah. the weird breathing noises. It's a lot. I'm glad you chicks, dude. You chicks think squirting is so amazing. <laughs> How? <laughs> it's piss. How do we get there? <laughs> well, let me ask uh, Parks and Mall. Do you guys want to actually see your child? No. Be born like see it. No, I'm about be right there. Yeah, like, watch it come out. I'll of the be vagina. there, but I'm not watching. Yeah, I do. I'm not looking at the, the heart it's of the a mixed bag there. for me. I don't know if I want to see yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I would want to see that for sure. She no. kid. That's your that's your child. Yeah. I get a weak stomach when I see people get stabbed. 
I don't know about a whole head coming out of a vagina. Why well, you keep watching people get stabbed? I'm always in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> like you leave That's the bar. Leave the bar. That's a regular night at the Irish bar. You know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Over at the pub. Yeah, at the pub. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't think it's for me. I'm not watching that. No. I'll do a I little would. over the shoulder action. I got you all day, though. Sure. No, nah, yeah, I want to be right there. I don't know how we got on this, but Lex, I love you. Cynthia, thank you for the greatest gift. Uh, where are we at? Anything you can do for Lex's birthday with, with the little Kofi's going on? No, cake, ice cream, balloons, and other kids. Other oh, well. kids being my two little brothers and nice. my little sister. And oddly enough, I mean, I haven't spoken to his mom about this. I don't think my kid likes ice cream. <laughs> Is that weird? Really? That's, uh, does that sound weird? Well, I didn't as a kid, and that's because there was no sugar allowed in my household. So my grandmother really used to think there was something wrong with me when she'd take me and all my cousins for ice cream, and I wouldn't get excited. And I'd be like, uh, I guess the vanilla's fine. And she'd be like, I think there's something really wrong with this kid. And I won't say what she said because she's an old Irish woman and it was a slur. So we're just going to continue with what she thought I was because I didn't want ice cream. Um, One day I'm going to muster up the courage to come in here and talk about the real co-parenting fights. That's a conversation. <laughs> Other that, I'm, that, I, that I'm sure a lot can relate to. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble with fucking us here one real quick. Go ahead, man. Jump in there. Pause. I think I, think I saw on one of the blogs that Stan was like doing some diet shit So mm-hmm. she took all the snacks out the house mm-hmm. I pulled right off <laughs> <laughs> My kid gonna have some Oreos <laughs> Better put some fucking Oreos in this cabinet <laughs> I pulled up with a very serious <laughs> Yo you took all the snacks out the house <laughs> For the two year old Yeah, yeah nah, You think that's right uh, Lex is on keto too nigga What you thought You thought Lex wasn't gonna get that keto diet See that's the problem with having your, the dads around. Like the dads understand. Yeah, of course. Of course. Like the dads fight for you. Absolutely. How do we get on it? We're supposed to be talking about this and, shit. I mean, how great is that when you're dating a chick with a kid? The snack selection that you're just oh, not man. privy to in other households. Oh, it's like, man. oh my god. Like, oh, you got these? I ain't seen Dunkaroos in a minute. <laughs> Fruit by the Where you find these at? <laughs> Oh, you got the confetti Dunkaroo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, everyone all over America was planning on having a, a watch party for Keisha Cole versus Ashanti. Yeah, man. Um, this was supposed to happen Saturday night, mm-hmm. and we didn't get the word that this was going to be postponed until a few hours before. Yeah, maybe, it was like an hour maybe before. It was two, hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't enough. It wasn't very much time. No. Um, and I get it. The new date is the ninth, January 9th, which is a Saturday. Mm-hmm few weeks away but and i mean we are still gonna watch this but man was i disappointed that it didn't happen yeah. uh ashanti announced that uh unfortunately she caught covid mm-hmm. so she was unable unable to do it the internet had a little bit of fun with that and i'll be careful about how much fun i have with it considering y'all think i'm so irresponsible um but yeah the internet had a lot of fun you gotta love the internet no, you don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, you yes, don't. you do. You don't have to. The nah. internet has, has offered us more good than yeah, bad. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to, yeah, but you you have to enjoy the good. Well, that's debatable, too, yeah, but, yeah. Debatable, but, but the good moments, too. boy, are they enjoyable. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just the, uh, the two The way they make me laugh for giving them my social and credit card numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just, it's a really Did bad. Did you guys see the a, dog that ate edibles this weekend? Oh, Jinx? Yeah. That shit was fun. Jinx was almost out of here. Yeah. I know that feeling, I've been there. Yeah, I know that feeling. I felt it. What are y'all talking about? Once. Uh, th- there was a video of a, a girl holding a dog that got into her edible uh, collection. How big was the dog, though? It was like a chihuahua. It was a little chihuahua. That big dog. That dog was faded. The little dogs can't smoke weed or eat weed. <laughs> no dog should. Uh, eat hold weed. on. No, nah, Brooklyn was cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. He was a smoker. Those two yeah. summers where I was trying to drug you, I was testing on Brooklyn. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a good strategy, though. <laughs> uh, you both handled it really well. <laughs> <laughs> we were at uh, and why was I trying to drug more for a summer I have no idea <laughs> allegedly uh, yeah because you shouldn't drug people yeah <laughs> uh, we were at your house and Maul was uh, blowing weed that smelled a bit expensive it definitely wasn't like mm. the reg that, <laughs> that he may have copped uh, he was blowing it in Baisley's direction and she passed out in the car home and I was like alright she does that a lot she, she falls asleep in cars she's sure. a baby wait me yes this was you where we were it was the premiere of Love and Hip Hop Oh, at Joe's house. Yeah. Okay. And then in the morning, she didn't wake up. I got a little nervous. <laughs> a little and this was, this was her dead about 12 hours later. <laughs> I've been there, Oh, man. you posted that? Yeah, this was like <laughs> two years ago, though. My bad, my bad, Baze. Yeah, I'll, I'll repost there. that for them. That but good she cush. was, she that good was loud. dead. 
Yeah. And that was just a contact high. Just dehydrated. Get a little Pedialyte icy. Yeah. Right. It took a couple days. Yeah. What do you guys think of this matchup being postponed? I mean, it sucked. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, oh, here y'all, now, y'all being responsible. Uh, y'all listen, being responsible. This is what y'all told me to do. Y'all yeah, told no, me to be responsible. Oh, Ashanti, oh, Ashanti used my move. Anytime I don't want to do something, I blame it on COVID. <laughs> but I don't know why y'all keep, like, let's just have fun with it. Why do y'all think Ashanti didn't want to do this? I mean, she may have went through, through low-keys versus playlist. Mm. Saw some joints on there she forgot about. The cheat sheet. <laughs> the cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe she went through that and saw some joints. Oh, I forgot she had that one. Mm. And I think she started put her list together. And I love every single gyro feature she has. But after the six one, I don't know how it's gonna hit. This okay. this is why January I think January ninth. <laughs> we're gonna see. Hey, I can't speak for nobody else. This this is why I think she stayed home. <laughs> hey, hey, this sample has never lost. It has no, I just want to tell you that part. Yeah, never. Yeah, I think this is why she stayed stayed in the living room. I played that Ashanti shit uh, right what, after that. What? Which one? Okay. Tell me. Okay. Well, if you remember, I was on Ashanti's side the first time this was brought up. <laughs> then I started doing some digging. I don't want your man. Uh, That's a record. Listen, Ashanti, and this is all jokes. Uh, we want to respect black women. We want to respect women that have provided so much, contributed so much. Uh, we just having fun. So, so I do want to make that clear because a lot of y'all are idiots. Yes. Uh, and though I never really plan on idiots listening, somehow you do. Uh, so these yeah, are we'll these, continue these to, are continue just continue to listen. I don't give a fuck if the idiots listen or not. It's okay, idiots. You can listen, please. <laughs> Keep listening, idiot. Um, <laughs> stupid. Matter of fact, it's, it's stupid. It's the smartest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Keep listening, stupid. <laughs> Yo, so uh, <laughs> Oh my god Alright So we want to be responsible in this But word on the streets And my house <laughs> The only street <laughs> Yeah Word in my mind mm-hmm. Is that Ke- um, Ashanti didn't want that smoke man And I did pick Keisha Though, though I knew it would have been an uphill battle for her I picked her Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be very easy, and I wouldn't have been shocked if she lost it all. No, let me, th- be, let me this, be clear. This is going eleven nine either way for me. Yeah, but I'm 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 listen. In my life, I roll with the underdog type of guy. I learned that about myself. Poor it's a girl. pattern. Yeah, I'm on an un, un, I'm an underdog person. Me too. Especially when I think they have a real shot. So that's what happened here, Ma. I I know twenty songs, twenty different reasons why she wouldn't uh, want to come out the house. Mm-hmm. But did y'all catch the Jennifer Lopez shade? I did not. No, no. I didn't know Jenny from, from, from the block. Of course, had a of course you didn't. No, I didn't catch it. She was throwing the shade or receiving the shade? None of this is substantiated. <laughs> but Ashanti announced that she was sick and couldn't couldn't do the uh, battle. Mm. And magically, an hour later, J-Lo tweeted uh, a bunch of crying, laughing emojis and then deleted it. Mm. <laughs> so they thought J-Lo was throwing shade? They thought that was the shade? No, J Lo was throwing shade. <laughs> okay. What about it? I'm just asking if you saw it. No, I didn't, I didn't see it. Well, I I there is. There has been a, a. Probably doesn't matter to a room full of men, but I thought it was important to point out. There's been rumblings of uh, some tension between Ashanti and, and J Lo. No, and I can't figure out why. But I'm not a girl, and I'm not in women's business. But I can't not. figure out why. But I'll be in music's business. And you know she sang some backgrounds and it, maybe maybe told the world when she didn't need to tell the world. If Irvin if Irvin um sold this song because we had the rights to sell the shit mm-hmm. and the biggest one of the biggest movie stars and pop stars at the time wants the song. I'm giving them the song. Yeah. Oh, right. of what's course. the what's the issue? No, no. I th- Especially I th- when you have a bunch of hits, like you're not short on hits. Mm-hmm. If right. Ashanti was ever short on hits, I can understand then you could it. Understand it. Yeah. Well, she got th- hits for days at yeah. that time. So why why are we beefing about this one? We talking about two people who make these, understand these, and are millionaires. Yeah, right. but we don't know if there's a real shade of beef, do we? Is it just speculation at this point? Well, and I don't want to stay on this part too long, and I want to get to the actual important shit, but. We've seen little Petty back and forth. We've mm-hmm. seen Ashanti when she was doing the B2K tour. Every time she performed this record, it was her version. She said a little variation of, yo, this is my shit. I don't care who sang it or whatever it was. Uh, okay. 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 I so wasn't hip. Some validity yeah. to it. Yeah. But I mean, listen, I'm going to watch this whenever it happens. <laughs> 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 laughing at someone getting COVID is fucking sick. That's fucked up. <laughs> 
I don't think Jennifer Lopez was laughing at that. I think it was the uh, back in the house, huh? Mm. That's all back in the house. Yeah. Sometimes you got to sit down. So then them two went on live. I didn't watch it, but they both look beautiful. They're both going to do great. This is going to be great whenever it happens. I mean, I'm not even going to make all the jokes. I'm not. But I will read the internet when they do it. Of course. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to be best, Instagram the for the part. comments on that one. Yeah. Yeah, the IG comments be way better. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because the comments on Instagram are great, but the experience on Apple is great. Yeah. So, well, you make it a multimedia experience and hold the phone and watch the TV. Oh, then you really feel like a loser. But yeah, yeah. You, can, <laughs> you, can, you can do that. And then it'd be delayed, so you don't even we know what you're laughing one. at. Yeah. Also, uh, also, the very next day, uh, they announced E-40 versus Too Short Battle of the Bay. Woo! Legends of the Bay. Not just Legends of the Bay, Legends they're, period. They're, they're Legends. Yeah. Legends period. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to stay out of Bay's business. <laughs> that was my take. Yeah. <laughs> these, these two gentlemen are with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good matchup, though. Both very long careers. Both got a lot of hit records. Yeah. Uh, man. That's the matchup. I, I probably would pick E-40 if I had to pick. If I was on the spot right now. He's he's probably had bigger records as far as singles go. I think more recent big records that yeah. they're going to pr- probably perform a little bit better. But I love Too Short. I love them both. That's well, going to be a tight Well, I will be getting hyphy. Yeah, I'm going to take Short in that. I love E-40. I'm going to take Short. Okay. Short got a lot of records with a lot of... With Rockefeller? What? <laughs> well, you got a few joints with Jay, yeah, but... I knew that's what I'll take Short. Which way you was going. Does, does, <laughs> does a week ago make it more? Yes. He should play. It should. It should. But absolutely, we're, not, should, from the, we're but not from the Bay, and I'm sure Joe the Bay would is be like, staying no. out of Bay's business. Mm. I'm not picking a winner. I do not have the range. I have not heard these. these if you're talking about two people with discogs that are like, E40 like, has like a trillion albums. That's yeah. what I'm. Too that's short. what I'm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> both, <laughs> them, them both. We talk about Wayne having a bunch of albums or nah. just a long discography. Yeah. Nah. So I'm staying out of this. I have no idea who will win. I just like this for the fact that I think a lot of the you know the younger generation that really don't know these two will get a chance to hear their their catalog. That's why I like this. And they got a lot of records that were hits on their own and mm-hmm. have been resampled and mm-hmm. repurposed as hits say, yeah. recently. Short, Short has been sampled a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it's, this should be a, a fun, it's fun shit. night. I love, I love because the, the Bay Party is better than most yeah. most cities. Period. Absolutely. So. I think this, this is going to be one watch. of those battles where, like the uh, was that the Beanie Man uh, Beanie Man battle mm-hmm. where like maybe you didn't know how great it was going to be until it happened. Yeah, like because these two man, besides being two of the nicest guys in the world, they have friends and there's their friends and there's chemistry. So mm-hmm. like I think that'll be on display and that's what I want to see. Their yeah. sound, their sound too. The way Beanie and Bounty, just the sounds are similar, so yeah. it, it flows well. This they don't even need to stop the music in this one. Fast. <laughs> Like it would all blend well, but I would love to hear stories from them too. So, oh hell yeah, oh man, <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for it. And that is Saturday. Yes, is it really? Yes, yeah, it's Saturday. lit. It's lit. This yeah. month is flying. Yeah, yeah. If anyone has some real ecstasy, not Molly, that's the night to pop. <laughs> real X, real X ting, <laughs> real shroom tings. Mm. <laughs> all right, so that's that on that. Yeah, that's that on that. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Last <laughs> last train to Paris. Uh, this is weird. It's weird for me to talk about this album because I've talked about this album all decade. Yeah, you like, better, this is not you a new, this is not this yeah this is not a new thing for me. Sonically, like this is just a really good album, which leans into my theory that I get killed for saying again because I work with Puff and y'all kill me. But I've been felt like this about how he constructs albums. It don't matter who you give them. Day 26, Danity Kane, Craig Mack, Total, 112, name him. Yeah, I'm going to say it's his own. Him. Biggie had a couple good ones, too. Yeah, but Biggie <laughs> would have had a few good ones anywhere. This, it's, honestly, it's, it's what he did with the people that you didn't expect. Listen, okay. listen Craig Mack was the first one. Yeah. Like, well, what he, he, broke, he broke Bad Boy. I want to be clear. Yeah. So we, we talk about Biggie and his greatness, but nigga did this with Craig Mack. And but Big even said a in thing for niggas that, that were trying to be marketed as ugly, and I'm not saying that because I viewed it like that. But nah, Craig Mack did that, Biggie did that's that, the brilliance. That's Total the, did that a little bit. That's the brilliance of Puff, though. Like it wasn't about you. Don't have to. He can make you look good. He could polish you up. He know how to make. It's it's about the talent. It's about the originality. It's about the sound. And if you had that, 
Puff would handle everything else. He know he knows how to make you look like a star, and that's his that's his power. He can make you look good. I told y'all. I've I've said on this podcast before. I think my one twelve Def Jam story, right, with Puff. Have I? No, I don't think so. Really? No. Well, I'll give a short Cliff Note version of it. Um, and boy, was this a revelation for me in the music business at the time. But because I was such an R and B fan, and I was wondering, where's one twelve? Was up one twelve? Like they had whatever contract shit they was going through, mm-hmm. and they ended up on Def Jam. Mm-hmm. Which at the time was a really big signing. I almost want to say I'm on that album. I think I'm on their Def Jam album. Hmm. Or they took me off for Ludacris. Totally understandable. By the way. <laughs> so, looking back, you can see how why they did that. Yeah. Yeah, more. more. I'm just asking, you only listen, jump in to nah, you Why came do you down, do that? You came down, you Yo, this decade script. I want flowers from you. All right, my you specifically. Okay, right, Nobody I else. I got you. Because you was with me. Don't got, do that. I got you. I, got I don't, you. I don't I like how you good, do I got that. some good daisies for you. Don't worry about it. I got you. Daisies. <laughs> anyway, this was a huge signing in Def Jam at the time. Mo probably suggested to take you off that shit. <laughs> Like, yo, this guy Luda's kind of hot in the South right now. I don't do that. I don't really fight with Maul because behind <laughs> the scenes in my career, he has given me jewels that have helped me. So when he publicly bashes me, I kind of just take jokes, it. Just but, like, that's, that's it hurts. That's friendship, though. <laughs> it hurts. It fucking hurts. Now that I look up the track list and I'm kind of mad, they, want, they wanted to put you on Hot and Wet? Hot and Wet. I smoked Hot and Wet better than Ludacris. <laughs> <laughs> Does YouTube have your record? Shock, I'm joking. <laughs> Luda, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, no, Hot and Wet, that album, they took me off of Ludacris. But there, was, there were big marketing meetings. This was a big signing at the time. I don't know. They must have spent a lot of money. Mm. Um, and maybe Kev and Lior was ha- were having some trouble with how 112 was presented and how they were to be styled and marketed. Mm-hmm. and They were missing Puff. But I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Damn. And man, YouTube doesn't have Puff your came. Wife. Puff came in there one day, and came in that market a meeting. And this is when the artist that wasn't allowed in those meetings would walk by and eavesdrop. Mm-hmm. And he was just telling them, "Fam, y'all thought y'all could get this group, and this group came with this sauce. Mm-hmm. That's my sauce. Right, right. <laughs> yes, you're having trouble. Mm-hmm. Yes, you need me." Mm-hmm. He was going ham in there. Yeah, but it's facts. He though. tore them niggas apart in there. It's mm. a fact. It's a fact. And, and and that's again, that's Puff's superpower. You you knew a Puff act when you saw the video. You could yeah. tell. You could tell. It was like it's like when you see a Hype Williams video. You know a Hype Williams video when you see it. Sure. Just like you know a Puff artist when you see it, when you see it. You but that's know. even with the talent that Big already had and that Mace already had. If you heard how they was rapping before they got with Puff. Right. Puff changed it. He just brought him just a little bit more commercial where it wasn't corny. Mm-hmm. It still felt like them, but it was commercial. And you right. could, a larger audience would like it. And the people that want to hear Everyday Struggle and Machine Gun Funk, all that, can listen to that. Well, but Mace, here's Juicy. <laughs> Mace said it best. I was murdered. P. Diddy made me pretty. Yeah. And that's 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 what it is. Puff has that thing, and it sounds really simple. Um, but he has the ability to know what's going to work and what's not going to work with unproven acts. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I know it sounds super simple, like oh, I've, I'd know what would work and no. what wouldn't work. That's the hardest attribute the for any last person on world. earth yeah. Yeah. to have. Yeah, fam, these these two young, amazing, talented songwriters, not many people knew of, and he made what I'm gonna call a cult classic. Last no, it is. It, it, it is a cult classic. Col- uh, looking at it now, it, it this might have been the f- first playlist. Hmm. No, you don't think so. I think Khaled was putting albums out before 2010 that were more playlisty. Yeah, he was. Okay, I respect that. And this one, I know we use the sequence word a lot on this uh, podcast, and a little too much. This did have a sound and a sequence to it that mm-hmm. felt like an album. Yeah. Oh no, it was definitely an album. But when you look at the, tr- it's just so many. So, he pulled from so many different artists. Well, yeah. I mean, he had to. He amazing- featured right. <laughs> yeah. He featured right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we dick riding right now, but (laughs) this is—I've always said this album is way ahead of his time. Well, he had he had the Puff production sauce, and then two amazing songwriters. And all right, I love this verse you just wrote. Let's just put Usher on that verse. Right. (laughs) Let me. It's a. a, It was a really simple formula that artist that he has a relationship with. Yeah. Let me turn up the corny meter real quick and really get corny on these hoes. Um. So Puff came on the chatty house and was discussing the inspiration behind this album, Last Train to Paris. Okay. So far, and, and and why he was, I wouldn't say that. Cuddy. 
808s and heartbreaks. Wait, hold on. Let's give Rory some time to shit on someone I'm, he was so humble to meet at his I'm New joking. Year's Eve party. I've been, and let's make sure Puff hears that. <laughs> All right, so I've what'd been, you say? Uh, he got it from So Far Gone? <laughs> what were you well, saying? No, actually, I go, I'll go back more. He got it from 808s, which, which came from Cuddy. Yeah, yeah. It all comes from Cuddy. This, this album does come from Cuddy. Okay. Y'all are wrong, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to shit on Cuddy, Man, you know. Y'all, Cuddy, y'all I'm y'all. I'm, no, 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 y'all. The fucking whites. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. But <laughs> the whites, the whites attribute everything black to Cuddy. <laughs> I'm, I was. Well, joking. he he was on How to Make an America. That was our show. Listen, <laughs> um, <laughs> see now, Oh, and he was just saying the inspiration from this album and what he was trying to get it to sound like. And boy, am I about to sound corny here, but as a songwriter, I appreciated this. He said he wanted to make it sound like um, like the world was about to end and this was the last train. Like this was your last ride. Okay. Like so it was driving music, not driving like car, but adrenaline. It was that. When he said that, that this was supposed to be like the last train before death or whatever the fuck he said, sonically this album made a lot more sense to me. Mm-hmm. Then he talked about being inspired by Grace Jones, like just mm. being in a party and, and seeing Grace Jones. And if you've ever seen Puff Party, then he normally is the, the party vibe man. So right. for a nigga like that to walk in the party, look over and see Grace Jones party in the right way and yeah. get inspired as far as lifestyle and just catch a vibe. Right. Yeah, no, it was dope. It was dope to hear. I appreciate moments like that on yeah. the chatty house. Yeah, that makes it. I had another one of those better. actually. A uh, quick, quick, quick little fun fact that I learned. So apparently, the the talented gentleman that produced Usher's "Caught Up" mm-hmm. was a huge fan of the song "Pump It Up" when it came out. It was like his shit. Okay. So when he made "Caught Up," he took the drums and did what he did. Hmm. Oh, dope! Dope! I was blown away by that. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed by that little. Tidbit. No, that's really cool. I mean, maybe you should try. Yeah, to get I some went royalties. back and listened. I, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck. Hey, the niggas that produced on that album might have had a hard time getting some royalties. <laughs> um. So listen, man. I just want to celebrate, celebrate Puff. Uh, congratulate Puff on making an amazing, classic. timeless, classic, classic, yeah. another timeless classic project, man. And this and guy did this with the band. Like the band sold records. Yeah. That's, that's the, that speaks to the power of Puff. And it speaks to the power of longevity that you could start in the 90s making all the music and the soundscape for that era and then be just as relevant in 2010 with right. what the sound is and pushing the sound forward. And then it, like, and, How many people have done that? And then in Puff's Khaled interview, which was real inspiring, if you, if you check it out, he said, uh, Khaled asked him when he made his first million, he said he was 19 and... Uh, he was in the studio supposed to be setting shit up for a Teddy Riley session and Teddy Riley didn't show up so the second he didn't show up is when he made uh, his first million dollars oh Khaled no Puff no Puff oh Puff Puff he was interning and Teddy Riley didn't show up oh yeah I, I do remember that story he told that story before yeah just interesting to see people look back at their story in hindsight and talk about it all of these years and later see, and see yeah. how far they've they've come especially when yeah. you get into how many times that Puff could and would have been jammed up throughout throughout mm-hmm. this. And I'm not going to make this morbid, but congratulations to Puff on an amazing he's, album, he's, man. He's been through some shit. Yeah, 100%. And, 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 and made it through. 100%. Now, all right, I was really happy when this slid across my feed. Yeah. Welcome home. We finally got some good news. I like how they kept this under wraps. I like how we didn't know he was out until he was out. It was rumblings of it. It was some rumblings. There's been a lot of rumblings, yeah. but when it was official, it wasn't as, as big as a rumble. Yeah. Listen, there were rumblings, but even when I first saw the report that uh, Rowdy was released from jail, prison, wherever he was, I don't know where he was, um, I wasn't sure to believe it then even. Well, with both of them, they've, they've been making claims for the past two years. Bobby yeah. will be out tomorrow. Rowdy's well, that's when him. they was hopeful that he would make it past the parole board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that whatever happened, happened. But just to see the video, right? Hold up, man. Let me cut this off for a minute. Just to see the video. And boy, am I glad that they did bring cameras and film this so I would be able to feel this energy. 
to see to see video of him walking out of jail with all his niggas there, with the Rolls Royce there, with some money. I don't know how where it came from, but it's there, and I'm happy it's there. He's smiling. As somebody that has listen, as somebody that has stepped out after a ten hour bid, <laughs> it's an exhilarating feeling, is what I'm saying. Fresh air. Your loved ones. Yeah, do an interview. Yeah, bring that camera over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy for him, man. I am so glad that he's home. I can't wait to see what he does. I can't wait to hear what he does. And it's good for New York. It's good for the New York music scene. But Absolutely. Even better just for our young black New York Kings, man. I'm real happy to see it. And yeah. he looks good. Yeah, it was, yeah. This was, it's real happy to see him home. Um, I just hope, you know, just stay safe, stay out the way. Stay into the music because this this kid is a star. I said that before he got locked up. Um, he's definitely a star, and right now it's you know the time is it's it's open for him. It's open for for Bobby when he comes home. Like they have a slot that a lot mm-hmm. of people are waiting for both of them. Mm-hmm. So stay in the studio, stay safe. You know, enjoy your time, enjoy your family, have fun, but take your time too. Yeah, yeah. take your time. I, I don't want him stay to stay in like that studio. Got rush. Man. Yeah, like because I know he got he got he got he got he got stories now. He got yeah. shit to talk about. He got yeah. a lot of shit to talk about. I'm sure a lot of shit he want to address. Um, and it's a whole lot of people waiting for him. So here's my que- here's my question to you, gentlemen. And I think I'm going to lean into this a little more for 2021, where I present these situations that put y'all in the artist seat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so y'all are rowdy. You come home. Do you put music out, or do you load the clip up and wait for Bobby? Oh no! You got you got to um. You definitely got to load the clip up, both. And, and wait. Both. Yeah, I think you no, can do both. Oh, I'm putting no. You, he he has to put out music immediately. I mean, not immediately. And not immediately Sometimes like, your silence is valuable. But sure. he's been silent for how many years now? That's the point. Yeah, no. It's like he could go just. He don't have to deal. Well, let me. That's your answer. Let me get the rest of the room. Parks, Roy. Uh, kind of to my point before. I think it's better just for him as a, a human to just relax for a second. Get acclimated being back home, get back mm-hmm. to what's important, family shit. Mm-hmm. Don't rush and feel like you got to make up for the last six years. People are still waiting for you. It's not like you have to do an immediate thing. And again, advice that no one asked for, but we're doing a podcast. Um, yeah, I, I think he could chill for a second. Parks? Yeah, I think that he should put out music. He doesn't have to rush, though. Certainly not through the holiday season and shit like that. I wouldn't go directly from yeah. jail to the studio. No, no, no. Enjoy your family. Well, enjoy. I, would, I would have to imagine that he's been writing and creating at 1, least 000, mentally sure. a I'm lot. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure that he's ready to lay some shit down. Get the rust off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get back acclimated to being home. Like Maul said, see your family. See your kids if you have some. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that... I don't think that he should have to deal with the pressure immediately Agreed. that comes with having to find a joint that's going to work because you've been so highly anticipated. Mm-hmm. Like I'd also we've been be curious what his situation is. Like, is he signed anywhere or anything like that? Or is he a free agent? Because that, that changes things, too. I am sh- I don't know. I would assume that he's still signed somewhere. He's too Maybe talented. So. Um, I mean, I know Bobby was with Epic. I don't know if Rowdy was in that deal. Me either. Um, yeah, that I don't know. Yeah, well, let's well, a, let's let's look that up, and we'll come back to that. Rowdy, it says so Epic it says Records. Epic, sorry, okay. he was he was with the Bobby thing. Yeah, um, if I wasn't mistaken, right? Because Epic was real excited about him as they should. Oh, yeah, be. Everyone, right before he went in, as they should. I had bon- I was in the studio. Why was I in the studio with with Rowdy? Uh, what we was were, we working on? We were at uh, Puff's daddy's house working on something, and they were in the other room. That was daddy's house. Yeah. Rest in peace. Oh, it was, house. it was, it was, it was, it was. Yes, it was. Rest okay. in peace to Daddy's house. That was almost like a little bit before he got locked up. Was they was in close. there. They was in there having a blast, yeah, yo. I, I could see how, I could see how it happens, man. When you're young and you get all your friends together, you're moving and you're shaking. I can see how it happens, man. Happy Daddy's home. Happy Daddy's home. Happy Daddy's home, man. That, that's what I got. Yeah, and hope hopefully Bobby will be right right behind him soon. So. Yeah, hopefully yeah. so. Yeah, chill out. Chill out and go load the clip up. There's, va- there's value in the silence is what mine and Rory's point was. You don't have to rush to do shit when you've been gone for X amount of years. Oh, and sure. I think it's just better for your mental. But if you, if you <laughs> like, have try, some shit for everything ready, you just went through. I don't think you necessarily have. Like, and, and yeah, I'm sure he got he shit. I'm sure he, I'm sure he got songs that he did before he got he had to go away that 
he can just start putting out. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Maybe. That we didn't that we haven't heard yet. But um, he's a star, man. Yeah, he is. He, he's a he's a star. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, a star. Like he has his own sound, uh, his own style. Um, yeah, man. I'm I'm just happy he's home. And again, man, just prayers to him. And I just want him to stay stay safe and stay out the way, stay away from the bullshit because this kid is definitely a talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Bobby, we hope we hope to see you soon, man. Hope you join him soon. The funny shit is, and this is why this is beautiful. Without Bobby being seen in this clip at all. You could feel Bobby being happy that he's home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, for yeah. sure, boy, is that amazing? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for Brooklyn. Uh, well, it's because it's because of Bobby that he's getting out at this time. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm sure Bobby is happy. Stand up, stand up, shit. Mm-hmm. One, of the, one of the one of the moves real, that real as a culture we don't highlight enough. We highlight a lot of bullshit and a lot of sucker shit. We don't highlight the real shit that Bobby did enough. Well, mm-hmm. I was just saying saying to somebody the other day, we're gonna. That type of stuff is received better in in, in mm-hmm. aftermath. Mm-hmm. Like we gonna we gonna feel the effects of that when he comes home. Yeah, when we get them like, both on camera. When they both are home, sit down. You gonna feel that. Yeah. And I'm anxious to see the energy when that happens versus some of the other stuff that has happened with people coming home and how they got home. Mm-hmm. That's what I'll say about that. Real quick to circle back to that. Uh, uh, I hate circle back, but to circle back to that. Uh. <laughs> Last train to Paris conversation. I wanted to ask y'all. We and we and be clear. We are doing a year the uh, year end wrap up. First time that we as a podcast will do a year end wrap up, um, and we'll delve into this a little more there. Uh, and I think that's coming out New Year's Eve. But that's what are some of your? For. What are your? Huh? That's what we're shooting for. Yeah. What are some of your uh, favorite like niche albums? That novelty act kind of albums that drop this decade. Uh, and what I mean is like Last Train to Paris, uh, maybe Run the Jewels, the first one. I think that's more group now. Prime, Watch, Watch the Throne. Uh, Prime. Watch Prime. the Throne is probably my favorite. But there's been a lot of them. Uh, the Chris the, Brown, that, Young Thug. Niche? Was Watch the Throne this decade? Yeah, it was this decade. Mm-hmm. Well, the decade before. Yeah. We're in a new decade. Well, okay. So Technically, yeah, the, the new decade is not until January. I know we all hyped that up last New Year's Eve, but we were all wrong, and it starts 2021. That's true. Really? Yeah. Yes. I, I thought Me too. 2020 would start. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Oh, because I guess 10 to 20 would be. You, you didn't carry the two aside. No, <laughs> that's cool. Listen, I can't read math. What, you thought I was paying yeah, attention nah, to math class? Carry, carry the two next time. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, that does make sense then. Yeah, well, so we can redo the decade high. combos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes, yeah, list season. Who's ready for list season? I hate list season. Uh, I hate tis it. here. Uh, tis. <laughs> the list tis here. Uh, I would have watched the throne high in that that list. Prime. I would have the first. Uh, there we go. I, st- I still have my That's what I'm top ten for rap right albums there. of the decade list from last year, December twenty third, twenty nineteen. I would have. How many uh, do you still stand by? I'm looking now. This is what I have, and I don't stand by all this, but I will say it. I have, and this is in order: My Beautiful Dark, Twisted Fantasy, Good Kid, Mad City, Nothing Was the Same, My Crazy Life, Take Care, Pimple Butterfly, Teflon Dawn, Damn, Four Forty Four, Dirty Sprite Two. What was that? Your albums of it's the a nice decade. List. That was my albums, my top ten rap albums of the decade. And then uh, R and B, I had which I don't stand by anymore. Seat at the table, Channel Orange, Control, Anti, House of Balloons. I consider that an album. Kaleidoscope Dreams, Lemonade, Malibu, uh, Nostalgia Ultra. Consider it an album. Uh, Black Messiah. It's not a bad uh, hip hop album list. Yeah, one of my uh, one of my favorite. Novelty projects that came out this decade, I, I have to say, would be that uh, that Chris Brown EP that very little people knew about. It was called X Files, but then I think his album that he dropped afterward was called X Files something else. So it, X. So X. Yeah. But the EP dropped before that X Files. I think uh, 2013. Whenever I talked about that yeah. in 2015. Circling back to my opinion back then, I wanted us to check on Chris Brown and cover him with love and and grace. Because listening to the music, it sounded like he was going to hurt himself. Boy, is that my favorite kind of music. (laughs) When you think somebody's going to hurt themselves? Oh, that's my shit. Um, When you could feel that. Mm. Like, I like when artists go through pain. I'm about to say everything that contradicts why I didn't listen to Tory Lane's album. (laughs) (laughs) I like when artists are going through real live shit and then they put it into music and you could tell and you could feel it. And that's what I got from this. I'm letting this rock for a minute. Hold up. (laughs) 
And I think this is the exact song I highlighted. YouTubers, this is Love to Remember off that Chris Brown X-Files project. I just want to get to the hook and then we can cut it on and cut it off and continue talking. Oh, we all know a dirty Diana. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> mic check, mic check, mic check. I'm just down memory lane. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm dick riding right now, but y'all got the point. <laughs> uh, I think R and B wise, which we maybe talked about this on this pod in 2011, that like three month span where we got Nostalgia Ultra, House of Balloons, and the Cocaine 80s Pursuit mm. EP within a three month span, yeah, was nuts and kind of felt to me made the R and B decade. Yeah, from Cocaine there of like what shit was gonna sound like. Cocaine 80s would definitely Cocaine be on 80s. the uh, novelty list. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, just absolutely. All three or four of their EPs was. Yeah. Crazy. And speaking of cocaine, 80s, uh, wait, boy, would I love a podcast uh, by No ID and James Fauntleroy. Just them two. When did um? Yeah. When did uh, the Frank Ocean um, nostalgia? Yeah. When did that come out? 2011. I'm Was telling you, within, within oh, a, yeah, a so three or four month span, we got Nostalgia Ultra, House of Balloons, and the Pursuit EP. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like. And oh, Molly oh, was crazy that at was that time. Great mu- <laughs> that was some great music. That, that was great in that, everything. In that, era. <laughs> yeah. that was great everything. I was broke yeah. as can be, but take me back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, man. The broke times. Those those was like, fun, it was all right, man. Those are the fun eras. Had way more fun when he was when broke. You got to make it work. Word. Yeah, everybody. Anybody with money will tell you that, though. Yeah. I had more fun when I, was, when I was broke. Yeah, but it always sounded like a lie when I was broke. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, because you're so stressed about other shit. Or, Boy, the shit we put big through over that old Mo Money, Mo Problems titles. Like, nigga, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a liar. See this unpaid bill? This Throwing is things in our faces. <laughs> nah, he was right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But um, I like uh, Wale, the album about nothing. Love is, that album. Is, is a, I think, a super mm-hmm. underrated niche album of the decade that doesn't get talked about. Uh, the, the Tribe joint, I just like to see how hip-hop ages well. Okay. I thought the Tribe album was really, really good. The Killer and Mike album. But why are these niche albums? The Killer Mike the album The Wale album, your name, was an album. Well, I was really and trying the Tribe to say, album tribe was an shirt, album. But I think Album About Nothing <coughs> was niche to a degree. I mean, if, if Watch the Throne was niche, then I can say the Tribe album. <laughs> mm. How? You guys said... What's the definition of niche? I think novelty was the term, but... Okay. Not that those two words might not be interchangeable to some degree. We're stupid, so I just want everyone yeah, to make yeah. that clear. <laughs> I think we're going to make a, our own Just album for category. everyone screaming at their phone or computer, we are dumb, we apologize. Yeah. The, Killer the, Mike album, album. the Killer Mike album that was produced before by LP before Run the Jewels was also phenomenal. I don't know if that qualifies as niche, but that album was great. Mm. Scream Man, can I see the definition of these words, please? It's <laughs> just why I kept asking. Scream Man, look up Niche for Rory. <laughs> niche. What's, uh, what's West Side's... Uh, F- Fly and where's Nick Jonas? Gotta be up there too. Fly guy gotta be up there. Oh yeah, Fly guy was what 2010? Nah, no, nah, later. Was it 11? Nah, it was like 14, 15. 14, really? 15, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm off. Nietzsche, a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment? Huh? That's, that's not it. A specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product yeah, or niche. service. I there thought we like go. a you know a, a specific go. type of group. Nietzsche. Yeah. Yeah. Nietzsche. Watch the Throne was not Nietzsche. Nietzsche. It was yeah. definitely not Nietzsche. That's French for Nike. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why not by that definition? You, I mean... You a think specialized you, segment, which of, it was, a market. special body of work. Of the market. I assume yeah, so why that, that to mean That's a Nietzsche. small, specific group. I don't think Jay-Z and Kanye West are just for a small, specific group. I think they're for a larger group. Well, I took small out. <laughs> I don't listen to yeah, no. the colonizer's word. <laughs> You mean the English language? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Rory. That's exactly Coming what I mean. The so why do you have dictionary dot com? Yeah, all the guy the that literally huh? pulls up Webster every day. You bring up the dictionary almost every argument. Okay, and then I change the meaning of things. Uh, mm. A true poet. Ta da! True Shakespeare. He is. I do think we would need to find a definition for novelty or niche album. Yeah. To whatever. Flesh out this argument. Well, whatever. You get the fuck. Well, in point. that case, then Watch the Throne can't be up there. Then. Watch the Throne is definitely niche. You think so? It's I don't not. think it's niche. Okay. Novelty, maybe. 
Whatever, I don't care. Uh, novelty, <laughs> the quality of being new, original, or unusual. I can go with Watch the Throne being novelty. I'm I stupid mean, then. Whatever. There yeah. wasn't nothing new, original, or unusual about that project. It was unusual. In that it two, was two huge superstars. acts making an album together. The sounds were a bit different for that time. They was putting like three different beats in one song. It, it was yeah, it was novelty ish. We Jay, did right Jay, again. Jay did that before. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Challenge him, and he made Rockefeller. Go ahead, Rory. Uh, I don't acknowledge the person he did that with, so it doesn't exist in my mm. conscience. You problematic pieces of shit. Mm. <laughs> okay. And also, those albums could be novelty too. Tata killed all novelty of that album. <laughs> allegedly, okay. allegedly, well, well, allegedly, allegedly. Mo- moving along, <laughs> <laughs> moving along, everyone. <laughs> um. Okay. So tell me why all black people are supposed to be getting superpowers on December twenty first. That's the question I asked. It's because the planets are planeting up there. Uh, Something's happening. The universe is universing. Uh, yeah, I, I believe, uh, and I did a bunch of research. So take for what. Oh, I'm here we research. go. Straight from, <laughs> straight from a tweeter. Oh, that's a, that's Straight a from a Twitter one. user. Yeah, I think Venus and Jupiter are colliding, and it'll be a, a great light show. It says, apparently the galaxies are going to align perfectly, and the sun will emit an electromagnetic energy that will only affect those with melanin. Ah. I thought it was bullshit until I saw news stories of electromagnetic energy coming to Earth today. Okay. Okay. So I should wear more sunscreen. <laughs> or less. Which is it? Yeah, sun know. launches... Explosion of electromagnetic energy towards Earth. Geomagnetic storm. Scream, man, how come when I'm right in the middle of reading something, you just click away? No, I think it's the uh, ads, pop-ups. You don't have premium? You don't have uh, KMBC premium? (laughs) 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 Well, anyway, who cares about the story? We don't have to fact check. We're not journalists. On the 21st, Rory... Parks, you're not getting powers. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, stop hating. Let yeah. me report a black story. Yeah, this no, is for, right. for well, black. This is for us. I was trying to show you for how, us by us how the whites are going to change. No, us. this is not. No, no, you got to stay home. first. Yeah, because on on the whites website, how they're putting this out, they're saying it'll be a great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, and will form a Christmas star, which is very white, <laughs> of the winter solstice. They didn't mention anything about melanin. <laughs> Sounds about so right. So you interrupted Sounds something. About so white. So you interrupted yeah. so something to hate. Yeah. yeah. So y'all, so y'all gonna take Rory, a galaxy shut your from white us? ass up while we talk about black king <laughs> topics. We're talking, we're talking about, about, don't, don't, we're talking about the white don't, Jesus don't, birthday. Rory, don't interrupt me again with your bullshit, okay? On December twenty first, whatever superpower I have will be used on you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fuck. But, uh, figure out what it is first. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Using your superpower. Yeah, X-ray vision, then that's kind of gross. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's figure out what it is. Whatever it is, I'm using it on you. What do you think? I'm gonna imagine my shit to be fucking to make it bigger. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look at you using your superpower. Look, 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 he's trying to pause my superpower. He's been interrupting our Black King segment for Tim. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to carry on tradition of the whites. Now. <laughs> Anytime you get some power. You want peace? Now. Yes. <laughs> look, they don't know how to act when black is king. Black is always king. And look Kanye said white and Jesus look, And king. look at him. Now, Maul. Yes. Fellow black brother, I'm yes. only talking to you, yes. not them. Yes. What What is your superpower going to be? Uh, and there's some of y'all white people out there that, that take my... <laughs> black on black crime. Some of y'all white people out there that take take uh, my white talk into offense. Why are we... Can we stop doing that? Can we right. stop addressing people that take offense and that's hurt and that's bothered by anything that we say, please? Can especially we stop when doing that? Especially when it's bullshit. Like, yeah, I don't... So, stop, let's stop addressing those take, people. Take your vaccines and your reverse racism. It's okay. Oh, fuck that, I was man, leading into that. a strong if you, suck if my you dick. Offended, no, turn it don't the fuck tell off, him. man. That's it. Simple. Like I'm not talking to people that's offended and hurt and oh it hurt me. When you shut the fuck. Will up. your yeah, superpower super be? Already. Is your superpower yeah. going to be to remove offense? Brashness, nah, man. I just can't. I just can't. Ooh, no one can ever be offended again. Yeah, like don't be offended. <laughs> Why are you offended by something that you say about getting superpowers? Like who's get shut the fuck up? Maul, well, tell us what you want your superpower to be. Uh, I would love to be able to fly. Hmm. Or okay. time travel. Fly but, or time travel. But you got the buddy pass already. No. <laughs> Don't use up a superpower. I'm on a companionship. <laughs> one of the companions? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to nah, fly but if he, time But travel. if he can fly outside of the buddy pass, he can catch the uh, the game at the Barclays and the game on uh, the Golden State game. But wait, That's can you true. bring Same someone day. up with you when say. you're flying? He's trying to do a real uh, life maybe. NBA league pass Would you type do of a thing. piggyback ride of sorts to have Shorty fly with you to the yeah. Golden State? Oh, yeah. It'll get a little boring up there by you know he would. Yeah, let's do it. You know he would text TA and say, yo, don't even take the team bus. I got you. 
Throw in TA on your fly, back. Fly with fly. me. <laughs> Look fly what Joe got me. me doing with my superpowers. <laughs> Get on my back. Some tall ass ball dude players. on Mars. Six <laughs> nine nigga. <laughs> Get on my back, Trevor. Whoa. Trevor. <laughs> hey, I'll carry you. Why did Trevor make oh, it weirder? <laughs> That's his name. I don't know what my what I want my superpower to be. When I was yeah, younger, so I teleport flight. When I was younger, I thought I wanted it to be like the ability to read minds. But then, as I met more humans, well, I don't want to know shit that's on you niggas' minds. Oh, Y'all thanks. brains is twisted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think God designed us that way for a reason. I don't want to know too much. It would be yeah. depressing. So I don't know what I would want my superpower to be. But I'm really happy that I'm getting one, and they are not. Throw some right. shit at the wall, man. <sighs> Hmm. I think Joe would like to be invisible. I can definitely see that. <laughs> Fucking creep. Yeah. I feel invisible now. <laughs> Nobody sees me. How come no one ever sees me? <laughs> I feel invisible around my own friends. <laughs> no, 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 I've been in every relationship I've ever been in. I don't feel seen now. Funny you should say that, Mom. I'll tell you this. It didn't feel like a power. <laughs> I felt powerless. <laughs> exactly the opposite of power. Oh, man. But that invisible shit sounds good. Mind reading sounds good. Flying sounds good. I would want to shoot some type of fireballs, bullets, or... Spider webs. Why was I so impressed by fucking... You can shoot bullets now. You know Why was I... <laughs> <laughs> they doing that shit all the same day. way, too. They're doing the same action. They're doing the same that shit time. every day uptown. I promise you. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to this girl in Atlanta the other day on FaceTime, and I thought it was like a romantic call until she decided to show me her Glock with a beam on it. And then I was like, yo, her gun is way better than anything in my house. <laughs> I got to re-up. She got a beam this on This bitch is shoot the shit out of me. Oh, oh, but she's yeah. Accurate. With accuracy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then she continued to tell me how it's triang- triangulated properly so oh, that man. the bullet hits where the dot nah, she was official. I live by myself, so I dare nigga to come in here. I was like, are you getting naked or not? Yeah. <laughs> like, you told her that? Nigga she was, showed you? This nigga was on FaceTime with Columbiana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she was trying to show me she could protect me. Yeah. No, I like that. Anyway, so if you know a good gun connect out there. Yeah. <laughs> send it through. Hey. DM us. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Look at how you have to keep up in dating now. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Superpowers. superpowers yeah. Super, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm happy all black people are getting superpowers. Something. I thought this was a wild story when I first read it. Shit, black people already got superpowers. Remember they told us black people couldn't catch coronavirus? Coronavirus. Yeah, they went yeah. from that to we catch it more than anybody. <laughs> like, yeah. Look at the spectrum. First yeah. we can't get it, now we catch it more than anybody. What are we going to do? Mm. How creepy do you think we deserve Savon's December 21st. are going to be? Huh? How creepy do you think Savon's superpowers are going to be? Oh, super creepy. Oh, you know what Savon want to do. Unlimited breakaway sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best playlist. Oh, my God. <laughs> all, all different types of colorways. <laughs> Unlimited breakaway. <laughs> they going to give Savon a December 21st. <laughs> Every Yeezy in the closet. <laughs> Yo, do y'all like those new no, those uh, new Yeezys? Hell no. Which, Which ones? ones? I kind of do. Them Which ones? I kind of. The ugly the ones. ones. Like the the shells? Boots? Yeah. yeah. The, the ugly ones. Yeah. I do a little bit. I'll be honest. Like, I like uh, weird. I like weird like shit like that. That got like an allergy reaction. Yeah, they're like alligator teeth. <laughs> There's been a lot of Yo, Yeezys I thought ugh. were ugly, and then time passed, and I was like, hey, they alright. Yo, wait. Could you can you guys believe that during that amazing? classic era of music that Rory was talking about earlier with the Weekend album and all that, that that's when I was wearing foams. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. but, no, but 2011. Yeah. You was, you was dope you had the foams in 2011. I was, yeah, but looking back, it's like, damn, that great era in life, that's what I was giving them, the foam posits. Yeah, foam I'm sure you was giving them the That was a shoe that we loved that, you look back now, that's a terrible sneaker. That was a bad shoe. The yeah. original was But good. in New York. When they tried to freak it, is when no. the phone went down. Like well, when they started throwing space and stars on it and like those were $1,000, it was bad. The gold shits were real ugly. <laughs> nah, that's, that's the classic. Nah, the, copper? Ugly. the copper is the classic. Those shits is ugly. Everything oh, when I, had those, like, when I had those Pananorman, Pananorman, whatever it was, phones, I thought I was killing the game. Oh yeah, because look what you could match with those. A bunch of fluorescent green. I'll show you look nuts. <laughs> yeah, I went phone crazy. But anyway, that's enough about phones. Where, where were we at? Superpowers, I believe. Oh, we're yeah. all for superpowers. No. We're done with it. The, the new Yeezy slipper. <laughs> and then we're off of that too. <laughs> Pay the choir, nigga. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, don't give them slippers. <laughs> Never would have made it. There's a Jesus joke somewhere in the slippers, but we'll move Never on. Go ahead. Parks has an album out. Hey! Yeah. I do. Hey! Shut off, Parks. Uh, it's your time. Uh oh, huh? It's your time, 
Sean Parks. The yeah. Christmas album we've been waiting for. Streets already. Mariah Carey, who? Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. We out here. Gift Rapping 3, available now on Bandcamp. It should be on the DSPs soon. They're taking their time. So I tried the Bandcamp thing, and I fucking love it. And I'm always going to release on Bandcamp from now on. Tell us more. What do you love? What do you love about so it? So I was initially intrigued by them because during the whole pandemic thing and the Black Lives Matter movement, they were donating their portion of the splits to either the artist or, and they're still doing that apparently, or to uh, it was an NAACP legal fund to help people, the protesters. Okay. So I was like, oh, that's a pretty Bandcamp. dope thing for a big company to do. Mm. And I know there's like a community of like indie. People over there, it's like it's, whole, it's like how SoundCloud kind of was. It's a whole separate world. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me try it. Okay. And then the DSPs didn't put my shit out when we said for them to put it out. So I was like, well, fuck it. Let's let this be the experiment. And it's great because people actually buy music on Bandcamp. I think Yo. I sold more records, like real physical. Someone bought the album in the first hour than I got from like the whole year of the shit we put out in June. Dope. Oh, far. And people can pay whatever they want. Like, they don't have to. You set a price, but they can pay more, which a lot of people did. Oh, okay. Like, yo, here's 30. Here's wow. 15. Here's 12. Here, whatever, you know. Let me hold some. <laughs> you, you, hear, you hear him yeah, talking that really shit, was, right? No, 30. I it's sold what your first that. album, yeah, your nice. whole album sold in my first week. You know what I'm saying? Your single was 99 cents. Mine Mine's was four was bucks. Four bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How no, long got so. the four bucks in gold? <laughs> I don't know. Bandcamp? Bandcamp, yeah. That probably line, so. That line was so disrespectful when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, gift wrapping three. Yeah, we out here. You got some good features on there? Yeah, we got Stove God, we got Ransom, Shay Noir, my guy David Bars, who is really, really dope. Uh, my, he better be dope with Bars in his name. He's got him. Yeah. He's got a lot of bars. You can't be David Bars and I have bars. Yeah, he's got bars. Parks, I don't assume you to work with people that don't have bars yeah. in, uh, post my retirement. I don't. That's true. And I would judge you if you did. Yeah. I would come back to rap. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn! Look what I got parks out here doing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Well, I'm congratulations, congrats. And, and Thank Gift, you. Gift better have a, have a passport. I believe he does. All right, cool. Just, I don't like, I don't like one? rappers. <laughs> the ghetto. <laughs> <Rokey>. <laughs> <laughs> one fucking, passport. Fucking peasant. <laughs> I only have one passport. Con- congratulations to uh, Parks and Gift. Gift rapping three man. Can you yeah. can you talk to us about? Well, you made the deadline. You hit send. <laughs> huh? You made the deadline. Sort of, yeah. It's not on DSPs, though, so I didn't hit the deadline, which is kind of annoying because they just put it up when they feel like putting it up. There's no, like, set, hey, we'll have it out by this amount of time. It's got to go through their process of investigation. Yeah. So, yeah. And this is Bandcamp. No, 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 he's talking about the DSP. Yeah, we went through, like, DistroKid or Okay, okay. okay. You know, to to get it distributed to Apple and everybody like that. But they do it on their own terms, and that kind of sucks. So that's the nice thing about Bandcamp. Nothing sucks about Apple. You, of course, ahead, I love what, Apple. What I love Apple Music. But I'm saying, <laughs> what were you saying? Distributing through them is is not the easiest of processes. <laughs> yeah. Or SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Cash App. Yeah, yeah. Nothing sucks I'm about these places. Cash for the album. Just, no, just that's things that's to work through. Yeah. Cash, cash App, app records. Start putting yeah. out records. Exactly. Yo, cash App Records is coming. That's a real thing. I believe it. Is it really? Yo, Cash App me ten thing. bucks. I'll give it to Parks. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, Cash App. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, no, like I like Rock Marciano did that on his website. It'll yeah. eventually be on the DSPs, but yeah. you could buy it for the first two weeks here like, yeah. for the real fans that are, actually want to purchase my album yeah. and give money to me rather than other people. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I, lo- I understand now. I never really understood why you do that, but now I understand. Yeah, I think there's fans out there that actually care about where their money is going. Physicals? No, this is just for a digital download. Just digital download. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. dope. Um, while we're on albums, uh, let me hit the round of applause. Let's congratulate Kid Cudi uh, for what he sold. I think it was some around 195. Come on, I'm mad applause. I think it was 195, 197, something like that. But it was a whole lot of albums. Already? Been out for like three days. Oh, well, maybe they're just talking about projections. Yeah, it's got to be projections. Well, the projection was high. That's still amazing. <laughs> well, that's, that's, it, it, it that's was really high. Off. That's the Cuddy. It's not a surprise to me. It's not a surprise it. to me either because yeah. he always does that. Cuddy yeah. comes yeah. out and sells, sells albums. Mm-hmm. That's true. Like a lot of albums. People love Cuddy. Yeah. Including me and Rory. Which was my point of saying. And me and Maul. If you have yeah. this large group that always apparent. purchase it and don't want you to change your sound, don't change your sound. <laughs> the influences. Get your shit off. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm a doc connector. Oh, you did that? I connected dots. Yeah, that's ill. I connected Cuddy to all 150,000 fans. 
<laughs> to all of them? <laughs> Every last one of them. You don't know how far my dots go. No, you're right. That dot connector thing is really traveling. Like, my travel agent hit me last night, like, don't worry about it. I'm a dot connector. I was like, this is your job. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, please connect you're, these dots. You're not, you're not a dot connector. You're a travel agent. <laughs> because your travel agent telling you she's a dot connector is hilarious. Man. No, because she was saying that the rates on New Year's Eve for some of the spaces I'm, I'm looking at is a lot. But of don't course. worry. She knows the owner here or this person here. She's going to yeah. connect the dots. And I'm like, fam. Okay. No, yeah, that makes her a mover and shaker. He's still doing Miami. He's still doing Miami. Ah. Silencio, this time he won't snitch on himself. God. Silencio, mm. por favor. I think I, I think I might hit the Florida streets. What's wrong with this, what's wrong with this kid? <laughs> my bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> Secret society. <sighs> Did to go into my Did I society? fucking tell you that my competition's heating up? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I'm being consistent in what I'm spreading? <laughs> He's going to seven different I'm going cities. To, I'm going to Egypt with one chick. <laughs> this other chick's taking me to Greece. <laughs> the hell you got going no, on? All over the world. Yeah, Miami is the top, <laughs> yeah. the top plan. Where you're like, oh, she had a meeting yeah. crazy, yo. She crazy had a meeting on the beach. <laughs> with this, For five days. With girls I, I naked. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even bring them naked girls around, man. <laughs> you know Miami, though. They just be around. Yeah, Why was yeah, they around? Yeah. Content. Content. Yeah, that's all. Content. Working on the working on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a great idea. See? <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast is going to be like old Cinemax. <laughs> <laughs> Put the audio version in. <laughs> Oh, oh no, ain't no audio version. Just video of this. <laughs> straight to video? Straight to video. No YouTube audio uncut. Silent. It's, it's going to be like, what, what's the shit that uh, my son and the rest of everybody likes? Anime? Anime? Yeah. ASR? No, ASR. Right? The sounds? Yeah, ASR When you listen to that. Oh. You like that? ASR podcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look out, Black China. Is that like the moan room? Coming for you. Oh, while we on this. No, not like the moan room. But uh, while we on this, uh, A Boogie is starting OnlyFans. I got mad hip hop facts that nobody needs, but it's for music. <laughs> hey, Boogie's not getting naked. Don't disrespect them niggas. I They'll would never. shoot this whole shit up over here. Uh, okay. Allegedly. I allegedly. Love allegedly. High allegedly. allegedly. Uh, yeah, A uh, hey, Boogie is starting the OnlyFans for his music, which I'm saluting any of you creators that's finding creative ways to get to the bag when we don't know when our normal bag will be back to normal. Facts. It's kind of like Bandcamp. Say that yeah. again. Similar it's a, idea. It's a paywall. Yeah. You said, say that again. I like that. And, that bar you just said. Oh, damn, I got to rewind it. Dude. Okay. It's off the top. And on top of that, if you could post your music there with women that are listening to it naked, mm. now we're just merging worlds. Yeah, Boy, you can't give away the podcast idea. <laughs> hey, Boogie. <laughs> we're going to give them sleepers on the podcast? Yeah, come on, man. What's wrong with you guys? Um, so congratulations to uh, A Boogie on that. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got that's important? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I saw that Griselda's doing a, a live internet concert thing. On title, yeah. On title. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, Benny Speaking and, uh, of Conway. different ways to get to the bag in 2020. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a lot of that next year, too, though. Absolutely. I don't think that's going away. I think they're just starting to figure that out. Yeah. But I think we're going to see a lot of that next year. I feel like I see a new Meg performance every time I refresh my Instagram. <laughs> she getting the live show bag with no seats for the entire 2020. I respect it. I swag. I can assure you we're doing something like that in 2021. As soon as I figure out how to make it make sense and look right and be worth everyone's time, mm -hmm. I'm going to rent an audium. I mean, an audio, an audium, an auditorium. Uh -huh. Sit us there in front of the empty auditorium and do like a big blowout live stream podcast. I love it. Yeah, it's a real good idea. Um, all you right, can, you can fight Jake Paul on the undercard. Mm. I don't care about Jake Paul. I'm trying to get our numbers up, bro. Our numbers are up. <laughs> Not according to some. According to Reddit. Anyways, with that said. Um, let's see. There's a Young Thug project that's supposed to come out Friday. Really? I wasn't here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just hope I'm hoping for R and B Thug. That's what I'm praying for. I just think it'll be hard. I wish I knew what else was coming out Friday so I could talk to you guys about it, but I don't. Um uh, Young Thug. It's a dope album. Listen, yeah, that, that I, I'm, dope. I'm, I've been a little disconnected from hip hop. So last week when we were talking about the albums and we kind of breezed through Jack Harlow shit, I didn't know that we shouldn't have breezed through it. Yeah, no, it's a good, good, real good project. And also, it just came out four hours before we recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we record early now, so it's even harder to listen to 
But what I'm saying is, y'all all told me that it's really good music. I mm -hmm. get that. And the streets told me that it's really good music. Yeah. And he, he Which confused it. me because he's white. So I normally wait a little while sure. to see if they keep giving it to me. But everybody in the streets says great music. Yeah. So I'm not really talking about creatively. But on the business side, like on the label side, I didn't know how big of a release this was for Atlantic. Mm. Well, no, he's, he's popular. He's got two, yeah. two but hit I don't songs know. He does, he does numbers. But I'm just saying I don't know. Mm. So I went back. Yeah. I went back. I listened. I get it. I understand. Yeah. What album? Sounds like money. Sounds like somebody knows what he's doing. Sure. Sounds like somebody the label would get behind. He talking his shit too. Yeah, he can rap. Mm -hmm. And I've seen none of the white rapper pushback that they normally get when they first come out. Like I've seen a lot of support for him. He seems to be more uh, lot. Congratulations, Atlanta. Uh, congratulations. I, I feel like drama took him around to introduce him and made him rap for real. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. knowing that he could rap for real, it was an easy introduction. Like, oh, he's not corny. Right, like right. this isn't the gimmicky white rapper shit where mm -hmm. we're gonna make him pop. No, I'm taking him to sway. This is the first time you're meeting him, and he's gonna rap really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. which by the way, we we gotta give drama a little credit here with the young acts. He's he's got Uzi and Jack. Yeah, in in this era, mm -hmm. it's not a bad combo. <laughs> it's a very good combo <laughs> of, of who you've found and put on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I would I would trust. Drums, and that's no drums, offense to A&R Jack here. or Uzi if you guys don't feel drama put you on. Because I know artists are sensitive about that. You, oh. you shook a Uzi. <laughs> you fucking right. <laughs> um, what well, else? You like, you like the album? Or? Yeah, yeah, I good. did. It's good. This is a good project. Real good. I did. I did like it. It was a pleasant surprise uh, for me. I think that that Same. Tiller and Static Major record should should go in the industry terms. Yeah, I, th I think that'll be the one that that breaks next. Yeah, I like the Fraud record. In the of course record. you do. Yeah. <laughs> Soul sample. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, no, always, always here for that. And, and I like when artists like this work with the more hip hop. And even though Fraud has done so much French Montana stuff, he's still getting his hip hop bag for sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. And is still able to do the more, you know, commercially mainstream rap. Yeah. Shout out to Fraud. Russ is great at that too. It's true. Um, here we go, here we go. HBO Max will honor Dave Chappelle's request to remove the Chappelle Chappelle show. Mm -hmm. that's, Thanks. That's that's juice. It's a little different. <laughs> that's juice. And a similar move to Netflix? No, it's not a similar move to Netflix. <laughs> See, just that fast, I disagree. <laughs> but I'll read it anyway. Uh, what's this? Up Rocks Premium? All right. In a similar, mo <laughs> in a no similar move to Netflix, HBO Max has announced that it will stop streaming episodes of Chappelle's show following a personal request from Dave Chappelle. According to uh, CCO Casey Bloys, the show will be pulled from the service at the end of the year despite HBO Max having no legal obligation to remove the show or a current working relationship with the comedian. Yeah, but see, that's where it gets fishy. No current working relationship with the comedian. Yeah. Well, you won't have one if you keep it. Right. <laughs> I like that though. That's honorable. That's my point. Yeah, <laughs> that's honorable. But that's you. what I was saying. Yes, it's honorable, honorable. But but even if it's not honorable, it's valuable uh -huh. because you should be on the side of the creator, even if he mm -hmm. hasn't created the new thing that you should support yet, because you know mm -hmm. it's coming. Yeah. Right. This was smart. It was. And, and also, which we had discussed when the Netflix shit happened, Chappelle set that precedent early. $50 million don't move me. I'm going to leave if I don't like this place. So if you're doing something I dislike, $100 million not going to move me now. Right. So yeah, you need to go by what he wants as a creator and a comedian. Yeah. Because he's not going to work with you. It'll, he'll leave. He's done it before. Yeah. And I think it just it sets, it sets the tone. I think HBO, what they're doing is they realize that uh, the competition is here. Yeah. And I think they're trying Big to time. just set a tone. Like, listen, we're... We're doing the honorable thing. Like we're working with the creators. We're not. We don't even want it to be a thing where they feel like we're not on their side. So like, yeah, no, we're taking the show off, even though we don't have to. But because he asked, no problem. We we'll take it down. Yeah, and, and make, I think that's make dope. Me feel better going in. Yeah, that that other it's creators look at that like, okay, they obviously respect creators over here. Let's sit down and talk with them. Absolutely, it's a smart move by HBO. Yeah, I like it. Considering HBO Max has been making aggressive moves to boost its content offering, the, the decision to pull the iconic sketch comedy series is surprising. Shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I think by industry standards, yeah. Yeah, no, by industry standards, definitely. The sure. industry don't know shit. Well, that's the, true. The answer is in the sentence. Considering HBO Max has been, and I'm considering that, has been making aggressive moves 
to boost its content offering. That means you assume they can want to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. The decision to pull the sketch comedy series is surprising. No, it ain't. Because they've been making aggressive moves to boost the content <laughs> offering. So I'm, I'm getting in good graces with the person that I think is going to deliver great content for the next half many years. And the person mm -hmm. that everyone loves. So if well, they that see the you do line. something nice. That was the next line. But it also speaks to Chappelle's power in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know and that's what the next line is. Nah, he's got the juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the ability to leave. Okay, so back to me putting y'all in the artist seat. And this is inspired from this Dave Chappelle shit going on. Sure. Because I'm, I'm thinking that HBO does see a value for this show that has not been created yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be in the business. In a, in, in a non-exclusive model. That's important to note. I think that HBO thinks that Dave can put shit out everywhere at the same time and it'd be profitable for all. You uh, hear that? Hello? People out there... This is not a rant coming. Yes, I know. I know. This is my rant voice. I feel like coming. This is the pre-rant. No, yeah. no. <laughs> we know when it's coming. It's yeah. cool. I don't have a rant though. You know, how I feel. I feel like I come in here and I rant. And it's like it falls on deaf ears. Like who cares? Some people hear. Some people don't. But I feel like you got to see it for yourself. True. Like it's pointless for me to come in here and say all the shit that I see. You got to see it for yourself. So back to y'all. Mm -hmm. There's a comp. There's a company called Jeans. Mm -hmm. Half of the country gets jeans from them. Mm. Talk about Levi. Whoever it is. <laughs> Y'all make the best jean in the world. What is your collaboration worth with jeans.com or whatever the company is? We got jeans. What is your collaboration worth before you've collaborated? Because that's the position that creators find themselves in. So I'm asking y'all. When somebody comes to you and says, hey, we want to partner on a... Pi partner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. There goes that word. Oh, I'm so there sorry. I'm so sorry, Internet. <laughs> we want to partner on a pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. We want to license the jeans. Mm -hmm. Or we want to buy some of the IP of the jeans. Is this a Kith sub? No, but we can speak about <laughs> Kith... Uh, after this, I, I have I, this does not have anything to do with kids. I, I was joking. This is totally about gauging the value of something before you've created it and putting a price on it at a negotiating table, even though it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. The equivalent of buying a house without the appraisal, without seeing the land, seeing the lot, seeing the house, seeing anything. I told y'all, Theo Sadomayor said, uh, Sadomayor said uh, treat every song like it's your best one. So it's back there of if you're telling me to use my imagination as a creative on what could exist, I'm going to imagine the most beautiful house in the world. Right. But I have to negotiate a value off of what is unseen. Mm -hmm. Well, how do y'all do it? In a, in a, it depends on the context. Cause if you have a track record and have some experience doing a thing, mm -hmm. you can easily hear, understand your value. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. if you're talking about jeans, I don't know shit about jeans and what's worth what in jeans. So that's difficult for me to gauge. But for someone like Chappelle, who has done a trillion successful fucking things, he mm -hmm. knows what his value is for a show. Yeah, Roughly. You have, to, you, have to, um, you have to have done something where you can negotiate from that standpoint of, yeah, see, I've, I've done it already. But now I'm going to do it with people that respect the creators, that, that respect the content, that this, respect this the what, art. This is why I hate y'all. Why? Because y'all going to, all of that's right with y'all saying. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what but I'm as it's the creator, what you said because that's why I'm asking. Because as the creator and all of this right shit that y'all saying, uh -huh. you still got to come up with something. Well, like what do, and, what do you and, and, what do you say? Not Dave Chappelle. Okay, I know so we don't make that, jeans. So no, no, and, and, and the I'm using the gene of, as a metaphor. Right, right, so the, it could okay, be music, so, whatever you do. So it's coming from a place where I've sold a, a shitload of jeans already. And now I'm just looking to expand. You are established as the best right. gene, one okay. of the top 10 gene makers gotcha. in the world. Gotcha. Yeah. You don't know the behind the scenes and the nuts or the business model of gene.com. Right. All right. you know is everybody in the world gets genes from them. Right. Yeah. What is my gene worth if I partner with them and collaborate with them? That's what I'm asking. Okay. Are you looking for a number? We want to create. Hey, we want to create. Yes. Hey, 
All right, let's simplify this. We want to create a gene. We also want 50% of the gene. Well, if you're going with gene.com, they're the big dog in town. You might not get 50%. But getting 15% of gene.com, a gene, you know, the biggest gene in the world, is probably more valuable than getting 100% of me making genes out of my basement apartment. Got it. And, Absolutely. And you, Got it. And I need to figure out before any number, what exactly do you want to partner with me for? If you're the gene company that everyone goes to to get genes and they're just basic genes and that's just where the but general technology is. But it's not that Rory gene is, with the Rory that's sauce. That's what I'm saying. Right. So are, are you trying to get a cooler demographic, quote unquote, uh, a, a niche demographic? Are you trying to be next to somebody that is cool so you can move your brand out of this generic, I just make basic ass genes? Like, also, that all has take, to come into the factor. What do you want from me? No, you're going to take my and implement it into your other I don't, genes? I don't, need to hear, I don't need to hear anymore because exactly what y'all are saying is how artists get fucked. <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are right. My, my best gene in the world, if I'm alone with it, I might not value it as high as I would, even though I make the best genes. Right. I might need the money and I might not value it as high as I would if I were in a different situation with Gene.com. So now I'm forced to negotiate. You're right. valuing their community Off, more yeah, than your design. Exactly. That's what you're saying. Exactly. I'll give it to a bigger group of people even though I have the better quality. Yeah. Yeah, no, artists get fucked all the time with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to keep... Oh, yeah, let me go yeah. directly to where the people are, but where the people are is owned by this particular brand that knows their worth that, of the community they offer, so they're not going to give much up. And I thought about this. We'll find another cool I person. Thought, I thought about this whole leaning into putting y'all in the artist seat when I watched the internet kill me for whatever I said about Kid Cudi. Because they were killing me. And in my head, I'm like, the same shit I told Rory before this podcast started. I'm like, fam, whatever I'm saying only comes from like 17 albums worth of knowledge. Right. Like, and I understand that that's not a seat that everyone speaks from. No, so no, I understand very, how very I few. could be looked at. Very few. Like but see, it's different. the weirdo. It's but but if you, you put some people in the actual artist seat where you get out of consumer mind, uh-huh. I think it becomes a lot easier to just understand some of the decisions made out there. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of people see it's all about where you negotiate your standpoint. Like you you because of like like Park said, you take fifteen percent of a company is better than taking ninety percent of a company that, you know, doesn't have But anything. he said the company no not, you're not getting 15% of this company, but you can get 15% of the great gene that you make that we partner the, on. The collab. Yeah, yeah the collab. Yeah. That's more of yeah. the, how it goes. Oh, oh, say, if, we're, if, we're, okay. yeah. if we're collabing, mm-hmm. I'm not taking 15%. Of the no, entire collab. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, if you're collab, it depends. It depends. You might take 15% if you're collaborating. There's, in music, there's a million uh, stories of songwriters giving up half their pub to person people that did not write the song mm-hmm. because it's worth it being on that whatever, Beyonce, Ariana Grande yeah, yeah, yeah. record or whatever it may be. They and, might not have wrote a single word, but I'm going to give them 15% because this song is going to go quadruple mm-hmm. platinum. Mm-hmm. And back to the Beyonce, Ariana Grande, and Big Gene company, to work with them, you ain't keeping nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, this is our standard over here. Yeah. We're taking this. Yeah. yeah, we'll pay you, but no, we are owning this. This is ours now. That's how this company works. Yeah. Yeah, kick rocks. You and your it's, fancy it's jean. A, it's a big... <laughs> I like those rhinestones. Yeah, take, take, take your little fancy jean down the street. <laughs> it's a game Ooh, of chess, are they ripped though, at the bro. knee? Yeah, it's, it's just a game of chess. You just got to make the right moves. And more importantly, just do business with the right people. That's true. Like, if you feel like... It's easier to do business when you feel like this company, they're just good people. They do things the right way. They treat, treat people right. Like, you may not make the money... You were going into it with, but you're in partnership or you're in business with somebody that, you know, okay, these are good people. They do the right thing. They give back to different organizations. They help out. They have great internship programs where they bring kids in and show them the business and show them how things work. When you do business with people like that, a lot of that other shit, money and percentage, you can kind of sort of be like, okay, I didn't get the percentage I wanted, but... They're doing a lot of great things. Like, And and you want to be a part of a a company that's doing it. You also have to uh, pick... Your time wisely, I guess. Like sometimes it may be worth giving up the one song and only getting fifteen percent on it. Mm-hmm. It's just one song. I'm gonna make a hundred more right. songs. It's not that big a deal. Right, right. I want to uh, salute and commend HBO for doing the right thing and staying or doing a move to stay in the good graces of a man that's just added Honorable. immense value everywhere that he's gone. Yeah. Honorable. And just smart business. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, takes, and smart even business. Even if they're scumbags, mm-hmm. it's good business. It's good business. <laughs> yeah. But once it you is. do honorable things, everything else, to me, falls in place. 
I agree. If it starts with just, I'm going to do the honorable thing. Right. All that other shit will fall into place. Yeah, it goes back to me talking about deciding to go with Bandcamp for this release. Right. Mm-hmm. I like what they did. Right. Whether I don't know if that was performative or whatever the words right. are that right. people use. I don't know if their hearts just are in the good. right place, but it's it, like I like it. Right. I like it. And that's important. Um, the Dipset collabo. Yeah. K- I K- hate K- saying K- collabo. <laughs> it was a collabo. Kiss it set. was. Yeah, but they took the O off it now. The cool kids just say collab, right? Uh, yeah. Collabo. Collab. I'm showing my age out here. <laughs> it's a collab. Uh, well, I, I it was for the Kith and Nick's collab. This was a uh, double collab, triple collab. Woo. A lot of collabing. I like yeah. it. Kith set. No, true. Let, let Rory cook. Let me get shit off. Oh, my bag up. My, my I didn't have much. I, Rory I is the Kith that this, uh, is your, this is your bag. Is this my bag? Yeah, you're the Kith guy. Come on, Rory. Don't and the dip set guy. And a yeah. Knicks fan. What the, yeah, what the uh, hell? <laughs> here's the thing. Nick's sure. I think Maul wears just as much Kith as I do, mm. and he knows Dipset. I just know one member. Mm. I don't wear a lot of Kith. On tour, I saw some items that I was looking on in the rack and was like, oh, I know where he got that. Right, so <laughs> I looked at that one, too. All right. I'm sick of y'all joking through seriousness. Is Ronnie Feig, uh, Feig a culture vulture or not? I don't know, Ronnie. Oh, he didn't give know. you those sweats. Let you exchange some sweats. He saw up in the sweats. <laughs> yeah. Yo, no, I don't no, know he if I reported. Your receipt. <laughs> he did do the. He did do the right thing with that, by the way. Oh, I, don't, okay. I don't know if I ex- actually reported on that because mm-hmm. I know the joke was Joe Budden is returning sweats, as if that would shame me. Do y'all, do y'all, <laughs> <laughs> yo, do y'all have any idea who I am? <laughs> You've taken back lesser. I've done way worse than <laughs> try to return sweats I didn't want with, with yes jewels. Uh, but but no, I was, there was complaining a, about customer culture, service culture. and whoever the gentleman was in there that I was dealing with and trying to make a return. And uh, me and Ronnie spoke behind the scenes, and and he sent me a cure package. He apologized. He he made it right. Mm-hmm. I appreciated how fast he moved to make it right because mm-hmm. all I was doing was uh, using my celebrity to bitch publicly and weaponize my fan base. <laughs> And I'm, I'm glad you admitted that though Because a lot of artists Won't just That's what artists just do say right. that. Most artists do that And I hate when they That's do That's actually it. one of my f- Favorite things about Twitter Is like seeing people Yell at corporations mm-hmm. It's like Will you stop Was that Lizzo or somebody That fucking <laughs> yeah, got her like fan a, base To scream at uh, at Coach Uber, USA or something like uh, that. Uber <laughs> Eats or something For <laughs> delivering the wrong shit I don't remember what it was And yeah. shout out to Lizzo I support you Even though the um, Anyways, <laughs> shifting gears. <laughs> shifting I, gears. I, uh, <laughs> you do shift gears. Shift, right? Rory loves to shift gears. <laughs> I was I was cursing out United on Twitter one time because they canceled my flight when the weather was fine. Oh my god, and, another airline story, Rory. You, and uh, you in the airports, man. <laughs> and then and then United they they DM me and I was still a little hot and I started typing shit. I'm like, who am I? Who am I talking to? Like, why am I curse this this person out? They did nothing to me. They weren't even there. They're not even in America. <laughs> like, like let me not. United. Like, why am I cursing out a, a a person that is just part of a corporation? Like, right. this is dumb. But no, I don't think Ronnie is a culture vulture to answer. But I'm not the person that should be answering that question. So. I don't. I don't know what he uh, has been accused of. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to say he's a culture vulture, but uh, you no, know, a, f- a few of them. Are, I, uh, I won't say it either, but I won't attempt to sway someone that does. Okay, I'm not. Yeah, I, 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 don't I don't know. know. I don't know him well enough to. I don't do that. If I don't know you personally, I can't put labels on you. But he. Um, well, here, I, here's I, a definition. I thought that was a good definition of culture vulture. Uh, a person or organization making a profit using unhonorable practices in a culture they do not care for. Is that something you Shit, think I Kith I don't and Ronnie do? I don't know I'm, if it's unhonorable. I'm not going to say that. That's, I don't know the business of it. I don't yeah. know. It's like, too loaded of an accusation yeah, for I, me I to stand firm in that. I, one thing I don't like. In, I think Ronnie cares about the culture. Is that a lot of the, the people that work at Kith that I fuck with, I don't like the fact that he kind of got mad at them for like the friends and family discount they did for the year. Like, because at the end of the year, they, they tally up how much money you used <laughs> on discounting for friends and family. Because they kind of cracked down on that. I went to Kith a few days ago, and they was like, yo, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. You're no longer a friend or family. But it's like, when you look at the number of what this person that works there sold for you, how much they sold in clothing that year Inventory, versus yeah. 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 versus 20 grand on families and friends, and they made, they sold $3 million worth of clothes? Yeah. Like, you can't beef at that kid for that. Like, he's... That's what he, he's having relationships. He, he knows athletes. He knows rappers. They're coming in there. And he's like, yeah, like I fuck with him. Like right. I'm going to give him my discount. You know what I mean? So I don't, that right there, I just don't like because it's like these are the, these are the people that are driving this brand. Yeah. Because when you go on Kith and you, and you connect with one of the people that work there, 
Like they exchange numbers. They let you know when things are dropping. They let you, you know, what I mean, they, they look go, out. They, they, they look, really out. look out. So now if I go it in, I'm thinking like that relationship and that energy is still there. And they be like, right. "Yo, Ronnie came down on me. I can't really." And I'm like, "Damn, but why? What happened?" And then they're right. telling, "I'm like, oh, that, that shit like that, I don't like." I mean, that happens a lot with uh, bigger a company gets. You know, they have different accountants and. No, I, pinch listen, I get shit. it. I'm not. I'm not trying to tell nobody how to run their business. No I'm just saying that now. You're gonna feel that because these, sure. these these people that work there, they have a real relationship with these artists and these you know influencers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like they really create a relationship with these people and drive the brand for you. 100%. So now when they they tell you like yo I can't do that, it's like oh well you know I can go somewhere else. Oh I can get a lot of this shit for free. I don't even have to come here. Right. You know do, what I mean? Do you think maybe the person at Kith found some women they wanted to use that friends and family mm. on instead of you and just blamed it on Ronnie? No, mm. okay. That's not that's not the thing at all. It's, they 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 can't. It's only two people that they can have friends and family for now. <laughs> at the end, and, and, and I th- two chicks. <laughs> yes, for sure, <laughs> for sure. I have a job, and it happens on Tuesdays. I'll call you when I leave my job, and it would be nice if you answer the text so you don't have to call me and interrupt me at my job. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> that was Ronnie. No. <laughs> The people that call on Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm always confused. Yeah, this shit is crazy. Yeah. yeah, they don't really listen to you or care about your life is how I rationalize things, Likewise. but that's one of my toxic traits. I called <laughs> I called uh, my old barber, Jose, to organize, uh, to set up a cut because my new barber that replaced him goes on three-week vacations whenever he feels like it. I don't like... Here's my thing. <laughs> when you decide to enter the, the barber art form, <laughs> Let's talk you about are it. now taking talk about your it. personal life away. You no longer can go on vacations. You can't go on vacations. <laughs> I don't vacation, particularly care about you fam. seeing your kids. I don't care about your family. He like, keeps no, trying you have to, to bring here. up his wife and kids. I'm like, fam, my cut. I don't... <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And just the entitlement in the chair when they tell you, like, yeah, now I'm about to go see my son in, uh, in Michigan for a little while. Like... Fam, Fam, what, how what, dare huh? you? What about my beard? I went, I went ten years without seeing my son. What are you talking about? <laughs> like you cannot see your son. Like they still gonna grow up. Yeah. Like what if I leave an extra five dollar tip? <laughs> I'm kidding. Comedy style, by the way. Comedy <laughs> style, by the way. Um. So yeah, what are you talking about? Kith. Kith. I have, I offer no opinion on whether uh Feig is culture yeah, or not. That, 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 that that's not my thing. Yeah. I was really happy seeing uh Dipset. Stand in Madison Square Garden, getting a freestyle off. I love, I love Jimmy shit. Um, I was real happy to see Joel Santana back with his brothers, uh, brothers in the in the black bandana, which is his signature thing. And then mm-hmm. I got to thinking, is there ever a time where it's okay to get rid of your signature thing? Depends on what the signature. Like this thing felt is. good to see him in the bandana. Yeah, it's not like some signature things like you grow out of and you become more of an adult. He looks. Fine. Like slick, Rick, with slick Rick don't grow out the jewelry. Like I want to, yeah, no, I see that. Things is, is just your thing. The yeah. other week we was talking about Ghostface with the eagle bracelet thing. Yeah, yeah you might not want to wear that all the time today, but guess what? We identified you with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it depends on what the thing is. Bandana is pretty timeless. I think they've been making bandanas for a trillion years. Yeah. Well, he, he wore he wear it a little different. Yeah, Willie Nelson still wears his bandana. So. Yeah, so yeah. it's all good. If Willie can do it, then Joel's can. Absolutely, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good rule. Yeah. Do you, uh, you guys have thoughts on this? I love I, the, I love the dope. freestyle. I'm, yeah. I'm never buying anything Kith ever again. I thought it was dope. <laughs> well, you do they sell other brands that you like? That's in what there. that's what I don't like about it. Well, so does Saks Fifth. <laughs> so in does, every store so you does shop Bergdorf. at, <laughs> it's just like they all sell other people's clothes. Got it. I'm telling you what I'm doing with okay. my black dollar. Not for you to, to Bert, not to for you and to, not whatever I want to do with it. Of course, I'm doing especially I'm, on the summer twenty first. I, I buy the things I like. I'm not one of those people. I say support black businesses, but I also buy shit that I like to buy. So I'm using my black dollar on what I would like to use it for, As which is not Kith or Ronnie Feig. But I'm not see. trying to convince anyone else to do that. But when the Feig Timberland collab came out, was I got off it. When the Feig Carhartt collab came out. When I, I was trying, when I was trying to return all of these sweats, I had no idea that the collab culture. Look, kids, Coca Cola, like that Been stuff is vultury. That shit is vultury to me. Okay. To yeah. me. In what way? And when I just because what is he? Not him, as in Ronnie Feig, because this is not against him. Uh-huh. What are you adding to the culture? You're slapping your name on shit that has lived in the culture for years and years. It's, it's, it's a turnoff for me, so I'm not buying it. Some uh, of it I, I definitely I, don't understand. I, I agree with you. No, it, there, there are a little, little oversaturated. Like, uh, 
Like but, when they did the Kith Polo collab, I come was on, man, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know. No, but I do. Yo, I, well, I was in Bird Off. Now that you make that joke, and know what I see? What a Kith Bird Off collab. Oh no, maybe that wasn't Bird Off. That was in the Kith store in Miami. That was one of their first joints. That was in the Kith store in Miami. Going on for a long. I'm seeing Bird Off shit in Kith Miami. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Going on. Little salespeople in there talking about. I, I bought a three hundred dollars shirt because I packed light and didn't have anything to wear. Shit looked a little big because it's final sale in there uh, in Miami. Mm-hmm. Final sale, you can't return shit. You better try it on. Mm-hmm. So I pick up this fucking whatever shirt it was, but it was expensive. It was a little t shirt, and it looked like oversized, but the size was fifty four. I say, yo, you got this in the large. She say, yo, we got it in the fifty two, but th- this is the large. It's supposed to be over. It's supposed to be oversized. Mm-hmm. I take it back to the crib because I ain't got time with a hotel. I bring it in there that the shoulder line is down <laughs> down to here. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like. Really, you got to lie to get this inventory out the fucking store? If I had time, I would go over there and try to return the shirt or exchange the shirt. Well, and then do. they would drag me on the internet. You do know <laughs> that not just Kith, but like every clothing brand has different cuts for their sizes. A large in a certain brand may be cut to be oversized, and that's what their large is. Like, yeah, there's different and the oversized what, 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 t-shirts. What is he saying? The oversized what is Roy t-shirt. Are you is saying a large and them lying because it didn't fit where your typical large does is not the company's fault that would be your fault for not trying it on um, he's losing me there's different cuts and different t-shirts they're not lying to you that's the large for that cut no it's not <laughs> okay it's not because the because <laughs> it, 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 the, because on, the large on oversized shirts the lining is in place and it's built to be oversized not the line for the shoulder being down here on a shirt that is supposed to be oversized is what i'm saying Rory. And there's different oversized cuts. There's no, you will not find any oversized in the world, Rory, where the shoulder lining is down here on a 52. Okay. And if you can, I, I, I will please, it please, please show it to me. <laughs> Definitely. I don't see that. That's just in how clothes fit and style. That's not, it's wrong. It's a lie. Well, to your, to your original point, I can't speak on him being a culture vulture. I don't, I don't know him personally. I, I, well, y'all can tell me something about what y'all thought of uh, the freestyle. Well, that, shit the 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 that shit was dope. And, and to the collab stuff, I do think it's a bit oversaturated. It's corny. And there's a lot of stuff yeah, that isn't for me, I but I don't think everything I agree in the world is for me. I agree with that. But even with like the car art stuff. With what? It's corny. And, yeah, it's corny. It's with it's with the car stuff and some other shit, I do like- Look, Kith Looney Tunes. When they do collabs and take older brands and make them fit to the now as far as cuts and quality and different things, or even with their sneaker design, certain New Balances, Asics that are old and cool, y'all remember those, and make them more 2020 now. I like that type of collab shit. Mm-hmm. So not, I'm not going to cop the Looney Tunes Kiff shit, but I do like when they do certain shit with Carhartt. I'm not it mad cuts at that. differently now in 2020. I love Carhartt. Mm-hmm. Carhartt's amazing, but the way they do their original stuff is not how I wear my clothes anymore. Right. So yeah, I, I don't mind getting the Kiff shit because I know they'll cut it the way I like to wear clothing now. Mm-hmm. So Makes I'm not going to say every collab is, is horrible, but no, I'm not going to get the cereal or the Looney Tunes or anything Coca-Cola related. I don't even drink soda, but everything is not for me. So I'm not going to kill anything I dislike. I got right. it. I got it. And oversized shirts are cut differently. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get that last word in. <laughs> I love Rory, man. Oh my God. Tell me, um, tell me about this Tyree shit. <laughs> nah, you got to read the caption. That shit got cold. Give, give us the time knowledge. I haven't read this prior to this. Oh, uh, it's even better. Random shit I think of on flights. One of my oh secrets my for way. staying COVID free is I sleep with the heat on 90 degrees every night. Facts. Been sleeping at this temp for 15 years, so it's nothing new. But rumor has it, if you catch COVID, it doesn't survive warm temperatures. Another random thought is people are not loyal to you. Oh. This shit, wait, Tyrese was wait, just wait, wait. He was every fucking way. Wait, wait, what the fuck? But I like that he let you know his random thoughts, so I understand man, it. Man, Another man, random thought man. is people are not loyal to you. They are loyal to what they want from you. Never even thought of it that way. Mm. Me neither. It's okay to be cool with people who you clearly see and know (laughs) they want something. As long as you are clear about their clear intentions. Just know, as soon as they don't get what they want, they will disappear faster than you can blink. Now that's fast. And just leave you standing there confused, shook, and feeling like what the fuck just happened. Ma, ma, take a minute to pick the gems up. Oh, no, they're all, over, they're all over the place. We need a vacuum. I'm a self-professed <laughs> alpha empath. Mm, me too, I think. My alpha was turned <laughs> fragile people away. I, mean, I think he meant... Oh, that's his superpower. Will, would. My alpha would Tyrese turn fragile Tyrese found out about his superpower away. early. No, it was... Okay. <laughs> when that happens, it makes me happen. 
See, y'all don't even know what makes you happy. Uh, when that happens, it makes me happy. Uh oh, it's a Cause trigger. Because I, I have one less person to love and care for. Uh, yo, you feel with your fragile bitch ass. Yo, where else y'all gonna get these from? Nah, like, y'all don't even follow me. Tyrese. Y'all don't even know he be doing this. I follow him. Yeah, come on. Look at Black Ty gazing out the window at the uh, the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you gaze, you gotta drop jewels. Yeah. The look away selfie. Yeah. I wonder what the temperature on the plane was. With the Paisley Probably COVID scarf. Was that Paisley COVID? That's Joe Paisley, said that Paisley Paisley he, did, he did leave the AC on when he caught COVID, so he might be right. I was super wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong? That, that take was just as bad as my Chance album take. <laughs> I did not catch COVID from the temperature in the house oh, like, okay. I, like I came in here and said. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I, no. I was really irresponsible. Well, by the way, I do want to know one of my secrets for staying COVID free is to sleep with the heat on 90. That's just one. Yeah, he got like, more. Can we, can we get another There's secret? More. He got more of them. You gotta keep, you gotta follow him. You don't know when he's gonna drop the secret. Come on, you guys, <laughs> share share the temperature before you go to bed. What what do you like it at? It has to be cold. Mm. I, I can't like, sleep in a hot room. Look look at my skin, bro. You know I'm a 68 man. Yeah, I can't sleep in a hot room. I like a, I like a nice immediate, you know, in 74. Oh no, that's way too that's hot. But it depends. In the summertime, I want it to be ice cold. In the wintertime, I want it to be a little cozy. Cozy, get as men, as men, as window. men, we like to snuggle up in the in the blanket, right? Even when we're in the bed alone, I, I like yeah. big big comforter, AC on. Yeah, yeah. I'm there all big day. Big pillows, absolutely. all that. I tried the weighted blanket thing. Worst decision I ever made. Really? Why? That shit is terrible. Why? The weighted yeah, blanket. It is. It is. I've never done. He's it. right. Yeah, right. That shit it. is terrible, bro. Is it because it made you sleep too woke, much? Or? No, it just feels like it's like it, you know when you get a uh, when you go to the dentist and they put the the vest on you to get an X-ray. It feels like that, and it's like dog, like I can't. I get the idea of it. Sure. But just get a better blanket. <laughs> like, don't get it. You don't got to get a weighted blanket. Just get More. a better down comfort. You got to get a, you got to get, you got to upgrade your dentist, man. You know, they take x-rays without that thing now. No, they don't. I, well, yes, they, I, I just they, went to the dentist. They do. My I, dentist is great. Shout out to Dr. They Derek. They put Factor. the thing over me. Yeah. It's I, also the reason I don't go through that fucking it's, airport it's thing. It's totally not super heavy anymore. Like the old big stupid ones. Like it's like some cool shit. No. Nah. You don't care? You got my dentist, I, I, I love my dentist. He's yeah. great. No, I'm yeah. sticking with Dr. Fisher and his old shit. Yeah. I, like I told that. y'all they're doing abortions just from like a pill now, right? They, the plan they've been doing, doing that for a while. Oh. It depends on how far along you are. Wouldn't uh, know. I'm celibate. <laughs> Welcome to the train, buddy. <laughs> last, train, last train to Paris. The last one. Last train to it's fucking. Last yeah. train to Maul has, Maul has been on this podcast for five years and has been celibate the entire me time. And Maul have, me bullshit. and Maul have been celibate for five years. I'm true. calling bullshit. Yeah, man. Now, Maul's been longer in his celibacy than me. It's been about five years for Maul. It's called semen retention. It's a, it's a real thing. Semen retention? Yeah. You can't just be <laughs> dropping your seeds everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You're retaining so you just You just run around chilling with a loaded gun. Yeah, that's it. The next one that get it though, <laughs> head off, smooth off. You hear me, Joe? Yes. No, I hear you. No, I'm not <laughs> smooth off. I'm not gonna head <laughs> smooth off. Oh, God. Don't let me see the little birth control pill packet in the purse. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm strolling to the bathroom, oh, she got that in there. Uh, so you go through her purse. How you stroll through the bathroom, bathroom and see in the purse? Look what you, <laughs> <laughs> you stroll into the That's bathroom. A bad line. <laughs> Y'all was going to the bathroom. The I see. No, no, you had the purse going to the bathroom. Got yeah. the nerve to show but don't do that. <laughs> That's the best place to go to the purse. though, is the bathroom. Yeah. But That's, no, I'm not going through her bathroom. Joe in turn the, purse. the water on when he going through her purse, so she don't hear nothing. <laughs> no, you sound experienced, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's every, OG move yeah, every, every, on, every dude done did that before You know how many times In my younger years I done stole money Out of girl purse Why well, my shit Yo this is only funny Because When you get a chick That's brand new To the designer Bag game And they ain't got Nothing in the bag It's easy to just Peek in They and don't say, have nothing Alright all right, she got a pen Yeah <laughs> Chapstick, oh, yeah, she got a couple. Yeah. She got change in there if yeah. I need it. If I That's park it. at a meter, <laughs> ID, just, just one key. A little, little payphone. Yeah, all right, she got a Hyundai key in there. <laughs> a Fidelis healthcare yo, card. Yo, okay, bitch, yo, bitches, bitches, bags and trunks be a mess. Oh That's my a fact. God. Nasty heathen. Closets. Nah, chicks' cars are gross. Facts. Really gross. War zone. Well, well, let me just tell you. Now, but when you see the birth control in the purse, you're you're in for a good time. A, Responsible, a, a, a roaring you know, parks. Not, not when it's April third and she hasn't taken it. <laughs> since fucking dots. March. You're like, all right, hold on. <laughs> January's here. <laughs> That's the fake pill. Yeah, and oh, don't fuck with the wheel one. The wheel one's the most confusing. Yeah, yeah she, but if you change your number right after you dump in it, you're not responsible. <laughs> you know, you're not responsible for that baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> you think you gotta be liable for that for 18 years? Just go, go to Cincinnati. <laughs> what? <laughs> You didn't know the whole population of everyone in Cincinnati is of Cincinnati. absent fathers? Uh, <laughs> Listen, I only brought this up. Listen, Maul, Maul will tell you guys what? how great this celibacy shit is, right? Oh, it's amazing. See things so clear. I feel like I would be foggy. No. No. I'm telling you, man. Semen retention. Look it up. It's real. And they go crazy. Over the retention semen? Yeah. Girls want to fuck more than we do. That's true. They especially, just, especially they, just they just hide it better. So when we throw that card out of here, yo, I'm gay. I don't even want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I know we can't say that. But I, I like it. <laughs> well, that's because we don't have the period excuse. Yeah. <clears throat> no, see, but the celibacy shit is the period excuse. Ah, uh, I see what you've done. I'm a genius. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to rush things. You're about to use a temple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. While you eat pork in the morning. Yeah, send me a full name, date of birth, and come sleep on your side of the bed. <laughs> right. And stay over there. In fact, I, yeah. I got a couple bedrooms. We don't even I'm going to rattle uh, this snake over here, but don't touch me. Right. <laughs> no, that's right. You so have two, well, two twin you, you just get to look. In semen retention, are you allowed to? <laughs> that's go, never going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to touch me, just look. <laughs> Yo, don't stop looking at me. <laughs> 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 Oh, so you can still catch a J, <laughs> even though you're celibate. I don't know if that's semen retention. Oh, yeah, I don't think you're retenting anything it if you're works. still catching a J. Would you engage, niggas? Shut the fuck up <laughs> and let me and Rory. Yo, why are you talking on shit? You niggas are married. You're just making noises. And Shh, I'm making noises to my celibate friend who yeah. understands what the noises mean yeah, in man. celibate land. Reten- Shut your engaged <laughs> ass, happy ass up. Are you going to squeak it, Maul? Nigga, I'm man, in, in love and happy with someone fucking who means something to him. I'm going to fucking hear that shit from you and Rory right now. Um, ta da. What else we got? This and that. See, look, wifey laughing at your jokes. <laughs> we don't have that, nigga. Yeah, we don't only be. We Sorry, chuckle guys. in the crib when we make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Tell Nobody yourself laugh at our joke. Good one, Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just start reading shit out loud to myself. All right, Greek freak resign. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I see he got the five. Damn, he got it, didn't he? <laughs> it is a boy, lonely, yeah. single world out there, man. It is, man. You have it like is. full-blown conversations with yourself? <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm searching for a little movie or something, look at you, you want All right. <laughs> what you think about? All right, I'm going to check it out for us. <laughs> Joe nobody still, just nobody just screen shit to by yeah team. man by yeah. Itself, no, man. I, I've seen that but I'll rewatch it for you <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 tenant dates <laughs> hey hey tenant is a hot one out there Ooh. look at say boy yo you be stealing my sauce don't watch tenant with no bitches nigga <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so corny. I cut the first five minutes. So I'm like, ooh, we're going to enjoy that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Let me cut that one off. I'm going to save this one for later. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, what's happening? A Greek freak, five mil- uh, $228 million, five-year extension. Ooh, Still no jump boy. shot. Got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just checking. That's the largest in uh, NBA history, right? How much money is the NBA making that they just giving up a lot? Two twenty eight more than that. <laughs> a lot, a lot more than that. You can believe that? My a lot God, I understand this deal though. They had they had to uh, lock him in. He it's, it's Milwaukee. Yeah, I read something that the NBA was <laughs> giving, that simple. NBA was giving every team thirty million dollars because of COVID and they allowing legal marijuana. I'm like, how is the NBA run better than our actual country? The world. We got we got, <laughs> yeah. we got twelve hundred. They said, hey, we'll tax you for that later. Right, yeah. <laughs> coming back for that one. Yeah, I want to see Adam Silver in the White House. <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, he, po- he, he points can be made. They just put a bubble around the country. Congratulations to the Greek freak. The Knicks are so trash. <laughs> Why? Creek Freak was getting busy a few years ago. He'd go to Knicks one and say, oh, we, we signed his brother. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got Daryl on Tampa to talk <laughs> That nigga Daryl didn't do shit out there. Not even his I, know. I know. That's his jersey said on Tampa Tuco. We was hyped. Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's oh, always man. get the brother of the star. Oh, my God. That's funny, but true. Oh, man. Is oh, man. They tried to roll out Daryl at Tampa Tonko with Chris Dudley. That's funny. 
<laughs> Nigga signed Glenn Rice when he was 50. I hate the Knicks. Anyway. All right, what? Well, they signed McDice. We might have traded for McDice when he was 50. Ben Baker? Ben, ben Baker? Baker at 50. The Knicks, y'all are fucking trash. Both his knees gone? Yeah, let's bring him in. Bring him in now. <laughs> Overpay him, too. Ma, speaking of Knicks, real quick, and we getting off this. They Julius been hooping. I read, I read something that said... Okay, Ju- I thought, nah, I thought you were trying to shoot at my guy. No, Julius that. has been okay. hooping, okay. so that's where this next statement comes from. <clears throat> now Tom Thibodeau is talking about want to see what the starting lineup looks like with both Julius and Obi. So, Tom, I'm going to tell you, your opponents will score 500 points. <laughs> 500. Tom, Tom, I'm going to help you out. 500 points going to lose. Night. I'm sure Neural Nolan is not blocking much back there. Yeah, no. That would be a bad idea. Oh, that's fucked up, Neural Nolan. What's his name? I'm fucking it up. Neuralin. Neuralin Noel. Noel. New Orleans. Yeah. What's this nigga's name, man? He was close. Neuralin. I like Neuralin's, though. Bobby Portis threatened me last season. He's out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they did that for you? Don't you got do Bobby shipped out. <laughs> you got Bobby shipped out. Hey, you stupid. Watch man. your mouth, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you All right, know. let me stop because he'll hook off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? What else we got? Uh, your honor. Yo, no, no, no. Oh. Before we get to that, let's stay on sports. What did y'all think of that game the other night? Uh, Browns, Ravens? Cleveland Ravens. Woo. I, I know it's two days ago, but man. I didn't see that. Was it. Was, it was a Damn. doozy. Oh, well, yeah, you're oh, not yeah. watching, but man, what a game! No, I'm watching. I'm actually watching some football now. I, I don't. I don't catch all the games, but I like the. I, I like. I'm mad. I missed this one because I like Lamar Jackson. Lamar but, Jackson um, had to sit out for a minute. They said he had cramps. He had to go take a shit. Came back on the field, won the game. For real? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. Oh man, that was a good game. Yeah, my fantasy team might be doing a little better had he done this all season long. <laughs> that, thanks, Lamar Jackson, first round pick. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming through now. I see, the Patriots are playing better, right? A little bit. Yeah, yeah they doing a little right. bit. Yeah, they losing better now. Yeah. No, I'm not losing better. Yeah, no, they losing better. <laughs> yeah, no, they, losing better. <laughs> they make they keeping it respectable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I want to watch it. It's a little different. I want to watch it now. <laughs> yeah. People are actually blocking sometimes. It's great. A little something. They're they're in the hunt. They won't make the playoffs, but they're in the how hunt. How many how many games did the Browns won without Odell? More they, than they winning. Yeah, they're, they're, winning. Win, they're winning games now. I hate when that happens. Because yeah. then now they're gonna say, see, we don't need uh, Odell. No, the Browns been a run heavy team. Yeah. They have oh, two great running backs, so Kareem Hunt, man. Looks good, man. <laughs> I mean, we knew that from the Kansas City thing, but man. They got an offensive line, too. They got a homeboy from the Titans in the offseason. And Nick Chubb. And Nick Chubb's next season, I'm Next season, I'm going to wait, but I'm coming in here with Nick Chubb versus Saquon Barkley. Saquon going to get some heat out of me. I mean. He better finish the season next season. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's going to be a new talk. Sorry, Saquon. I jumped up and down when you got picked, too, but. He I was need, my favorite player in that draft, but yeah, he hasn't. Need a full season. Injuries, yeah. man. Injuries. That's injuries. It. He's delivered when he's on the field, though, yeah. for the most part. Josh Allen, man, I'm so I'm so impressed by him because he was the last ranked quarterback in that draft. Yeah, he's ha- been balling. Happy for him. Well, like I said before, he got weapons and he got some coaching help in the off season and. The delivered. NFL started on time, so Super Bowl should still be February, right? Yeah, it looks that mm-hmm. way. I don't know anything about when the NBA season starts next week. Yeah. I don't know when the playoffs All-Star start. Weekend is canceled, everything right? is the same. The know, yeah, everything is the canceled. same so far. I know that uh, last week they didn't have any COVID cases, I think, for the first time in a while. So whatever, I don't know what changes they may have made, but it seems to have worked. So they there was what? a point where it looked like they were going to go off the rails and have to do 18, 19 weeks. But they say where they're doing the, uh, the Super Bowl? Still, all right. Oh, really? Who? Where? Well, that's the teams. Oh, yeah, oh, no, no, it does say location, too. They still have an All-Star weekend this year. Where? Oh no! Wait, probably in the bubble. <laughs> All right. Oh no no no! They pushed it to, to from to 2024. Huh? Yeah, Excuse it was supposed me? to be in Indianapolis this year. Oh. But, uh, all right. Wow. All right. <laughs> um. All right. What else is important? Off of sports. Uh, you want to get to TV? Your Honor. Yeah, we should have got to that off the HBO Max oh, conversation. No. But they they're gonna have All Star Weekend, but it's gonna be a more condensed type of thing this year. Okay. They haven't announced the plans yet. Though. They're telling the world, or was no the hookers. world telling them that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love much. people. Yeah. yeah, NBA, y'all are that much in control. We're condensing things. Yeah, I know. Um, TV, Your Honor, Woo. HBO Listen, Max, Two doing the in. honorable thing. Uh, it's not HBO oh. Max. Uh, it's Showtime. Yeah, it's Showtime. Showtime. Oh, still. Yeah, <laughs> that changed. <laughs> but this was a, this was originally on on Niche. Prime, right? Was it? Yeah, I think the first episode I watched was on Prime. 
Oh no, it's been on Showtime. To it's my been knowledge, been on Showtime. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Unless they have it on, on Prime split, as well, split. they do. They oh. absolutely they do. Well, I think right. Yeah, it's, it's on. It's on Plex now too. Hey. Oh, Showtime has a deal from. Okay, yeah, because I definitely watched it on Prime. But two episodes in, man, this is already one of the best shows of the year. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of angles they can go with this. Yeah, it's gonna be real interesting. I still, I'd love to know how many episodes is in this order because that would help me. It seems like it would be more, eight or ten. Just because of how slow they're going about developing the, the characters and mm-hmm. the storyline. And I don't say slow is a bad thing. I well, really like how they're doing it. I, was I thought say. the first episode, they let us know what this entire show was going to be about. Me too, but I and I've watched it about three times now. Mm-hmm. Slow as in versus the last show I watched was Undoing. And it was that was a lot more just fast paced, I think. Mm-hmm. This is Wikipedia. It has it listed for nine episodes i don't nine, know if that's okay. true or not but i, I, I read 10, like I read 10 or 11 number. something like that <clears throat> i've never heard of nine well it kind of is kind of isn't if you get people to subscribe brian was putting me out of this if you get people to subscribe for just this show then they have to buy one month for one episode uh, really i never thought about that i see that strategy say that one more time so if you buy if, if, just if, for if this people show. subscribe for just for this show right there's four episodes a month yeah they would have to buy a third month to get the ninth episode Oh, the ninth episode. I didn't hear that yeah. one. Oh, that's like what my uh-huh. guys did with uh, that's good. What's that show on YouTube? Or oh, we can watch it on Plex. They man. gave it to us <laughs> free on YouTube, and then like the the, fin- the finale, you had to pay for it. Yeah. That was a great idea. Like, let you watch the whole season, and but then no, the last no, episode was like, yeah, you got to pay this. Do we have any predictions without spoiling? Keisha Cole's going to mop the floor with... <laughs> stop, <Yeah>. stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm kidding. Comedy style. I have been watching TV wondering where everyone's masks are and it's starting to annoy my I'm annoying myself. I see scenes like wow, it's a lot of people together. I have a feeling this was probably filmed pre pandemic. For yeah, sure. If I could guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I don't really have much predictions the way I did with the undoing. None this to predict. So the idiot ways. left his asthma pump at the, <laughs> <laughs> the crime scene. All right. They found it. You gonna die. <laughs> the he, end. Was, he was also carrying the phone. To the gas station, which he's on camera as. Like, the phone was in his hand for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, be rough. I think the son is going to, because he already said that he can't, he feels bad. Yeah. And then him standing there at the at the desk when his father walked in the courtroom, you, you could just tell, like, all right, he's not going to be able to keep up with this. But it's so much bigger shit happening around it. Yeah. It's not even, like, who did it. It's, like, officials are involved in this. Uh-huh. And I think that's where the storyline is. It's, it's, it's in the the police uh, chief, all these people that are actually involved in setting this kid up. And the racist undertones. <clears throat> Absolutely. The real undertones. Yeah. yeah. Shit that really it's happens. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's a lot of what The Wire did about connecting the police, mayor, mm-hmm. and street shit, and yeah. how all those things are literally uh, just a cycle together. It yeah. would be connected if I asked the mayor to get rid of the car for me and they <laughs> find it. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you had well, one police, job. Police, police chief, <clears throat> whoever or, or, he was, I got was chief, but he was high in the police ranks. Yeah, whatever he was, that car should have been out of here, buddy. Yeah. No, but that's what he. That's he what fucked the, it up though. That's what the judge thought he was going to do. He said, "Get rid of it." He yeah. thought that he was going to have it. You know what I mean? And not only that, the kid was headed to the junkyard. Right. Because yeah. remember, the cop said that the GPS was his, on his phone was headed to the junkyard. Yeah. So he was on his way there. Somewhere along the way, I guess somebody. Well, no, because he went to the cop, the cop lady, his friend, the judge did, and said. Told the elaborate story about the car being stolen. Mm. So then she put her spoiler alert for everybody. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> well, back to the more racial undertones. If they said on the little speaker thing, he ran a red light and he didn't. They just pulled him over and then then they found out it was stolen. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they just pulled the kid over for the fuck of it. Yeah. <laughs> but great show. Yeah, great, really, great really show. good show. Can't wait to uh, can't wait for the next episode Sunday. Brian Cranston is. is Trying his best not to do the best Walter White panic face in certain <laughs> cases, so I can appreciate that. But I am catching a lot of oh, yeah. a lot of Walter when things get a little crazy. <laughs> I like that part though. For, uh, uh, no, it, it's, I like it's like, a little, like a little throwback. That's, that's gotta be tough for actors when you become super famous for this one role for one and now you're just yeah. him for the rest of your life. Yeah. I don't see Walter. Yeah, no, I, I don't see Walter White the whole time. But when he was like trying to clean shit, oh, I yeah. saw the Walter White face. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's the, just the normal white man panic face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I look like when I drop a beer. Yeah, that's, Rory the spots that face. that's the same way Parks looks when, uh, when what's the name, the shit crashes. He'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just reboot it. It's okay. <laughs> but any, any other shows y'all watching? 
I started watching the uh, Flight Attendant on HBO. It's kind of good, but you know, so the, I, I'm enjoying it. I watched the first uh, two episodes of Manhunt, the Atlanta Same. Bomber, on Netflix. I gotta watch. Real that. good. That so seems far. like a really, really good show so far. So I started watching that. And Snowfall's coming back in a few months. So I saw, I saw that. Yeah, you know, hopefully, hopefully shit. with uh, Your Honor and it's another show that's coming out. I think in January, another season. What What is Manhunt about, though? It's about the uh, the security guard at the uh, the, the ninety six Olympics in Atlanta where the bomb went off, and remember they tried to paint him as the suspect uh, yeah. originally. This was a movie, no? Recently, it could have been. Yeah, I think it was a movie. This was about a, this. a popular story, yeah. but um. The first two episodes are great. For, I, I can see that this is going to be a really, really good series. I was, I was, I wasn't sold on it until I saw Angela from Who's the Boss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When, she, when, yeah. when she's yeah. in something, yeah, she, she don't come outside. Yeah. So if she come exactly. outside, it's for a reason. Yeah. Exactly. And she gives me that the same effect we were talking about Donald Sutherland having in Undoing. Uh-huh. When she shows up, yeah. it's like white lady version of it. <laughs> it's like it's his body's buried somewhere, and she knows. Yeah. Um. So real good show, uh, Manhunter. Uh, glad I was glad Netflix put some new shit out there that wasn't in they Brit- heard us. Britain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? I watched a good, uh, a, ba- a good bad movie or a bad good movie. But that's my thing when I'm in the house. I like to find bad movies that I can laugh at and make it good. I love uh, that time, time. Honest disbelief. That already sounds bad. It's bad, and it's <laughs> Liam. Time it's time Liam time Nelt- Nielsen again, okay. playing the same role that they forced him into just playing for the rest of his life. Which, which, we and were, I watch it. Which we were discussing. I can appreciate someone that just accepts. All right, this is who I'm gonna be. This is who I am. Yeah, and I'm just gonna be that for every movie now and role. continue my career. Yep. Oh, you yeah. know, I gotta watch the. Uh, I'm not gonna fight it and try I gotta to watch do the some Reagan documentary movie. on Showtime. That's something I've been meaning to watch. Reagan doc on Showtime. Correct. What's the name of it? I think it's called Reagan. Reagan. I believe so. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, I want to catch that. And there's That's another movie list. that uh, came out. I think it's called. Monsters of Man or Or Man. I only saw it when I was mm-hmm. scrolling and it was about damn this Reagan shit does look good. Um Damn it, she looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna tell the truth. Yeah, right. <laughs> with, with, with Reagan. I wonder. That's how the no, but this is how it felt. It felt like they were really like felt truthful. exposing. Mm. That means they didn't. When you feel this like is out? Like, yeah. Look at Showtime. Showtime's trying to come up. Let's go, Showtime. Let's go, Deezus and Meryl. <laughs> Ray, Reagan and Deezus. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bringing the culture where it need to be. Hmm. Uh. Dope, I am going to watch this. And I don't remember the Monsters of Man shit, so when I go home and watch it, I'll tell you about it on uh, Saturday. Okay. I got a versus question for you guys. I was talking to uh, Soldier Boy in the chatty house, Big Soldier. Mm. Um, Hope you paid your respects. They would talk. I did. Cool. I did immediately. Immediately uh, identified myself as little bro. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> as you should. Is it? You just glad? Fuck you, Rory. I'm sc- I'm scared of Big Draco. I do like that about Chatty House. I do like to see men greet other men and how men act around other men. Okay. It's one of my favorite things to watch as a man. How men greet other men? Yeah, how men greet other men. How men act around. Other men, certain men, men with a certain amount of respect. I just I like looking at stuff like that. Okay. And I had no idea that women were judging us off big and little broing. Like they don't want to fuck niggas that's little bros. <laughs> like the niggas that's immediately identifying big bro, it's like a turn off for them. But they run around, they run around little sissin and big sissin, and it's fine. <laughs> it's true, they do, <laughs> but it's cool. So I I I immediately identify. So chicks don't want to fuck the little bros, but they the little hoes. <laughs> little hoes, no, big hoes, and little no, hoes. We no, know that, right? No, there are definitely little hoes. Yeah. We have this really bad habit on this podcast of when we attempt to talk about women, we immediately immediately go to the hoes. <laughs> I'm trying to break us out of it. I mean, <laughs> don't mean. <laughs> but we were in that type of conversation. We knew what we were talking about. We're not talking about all women. We're talking about the hoes. It's a difference. But anyway, go ahead. What you were Who saying? do you think Soldier Boy should match up with? They were talking about Bow Wow. Sonically, I didn't want to hear that, but I understand why they did that. Who Soldier Boy should match up with in a battle? Yeah. Think about that for a little bit because Soldier Boy was ahead of his time. So hmm. that might be a tough matchup to figure out. Who plays but Marco Polo? Back to our back to our 
Last podcast, I said that uh, Cam might have a hard time with beans. Um, I'm going to pick Cam in that hypothetical battle now. I went back and, and did, did the science on that one. I'm pick Cam, I'm, you said? I'm picking Cam against beans. I got to think about The only that. New York artist that I feel like handles Cam easily outside of the GOAT conversation mm. uh, is probably Kiss. Mm. Kiss is a monster. He has too many that you're just not going to. We, we, we saw on the, the yeah. fab shit. Yeah. He was winning with freestyles, bro. Too much to pull from. <laughs> Kiss should have had a different opponent. Uh, Kiss should have had a Beans or a Cam. No disrespect. To no, of course no. not. Of course no disrespect. Um... But uh, Rory and Maul, y'all got to talking about your hypothetical verses. And for the listeners, the last time they did this was, who did y'all do? Uh, fab mix, versus... Mixtape Fab versus Mixtape Banks. Mixtape Fab yeah. versus Mixtape Banks. Wayne. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't know why Maul took that battle, but okay. <laughs> Rory won that hands down pretty easily. They killed Maul for his selection in that battle. Yeah. And now Maul is back. Might have to do part two. We're getting shut down again. Got to give the streets what they want. Hmm. Mall they is- don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to the streets? Yeah, I just got the phone okay. with them. Mall says no way that <laughs> Mace is beating. Chat. No, no way. Mall says no way Cam is beating Mace in the verses. Yeah, no, I'm going with Mace. I and think I- I'm going with Cam. I'm taking Cam. Rory's going with Cam, and I think Parks is going with Cam. I'm going with Cam. I think it's a really good battle. I think Mace has the bigger records, but I think Cam in that 20 does more damage. Okay. Maul, can your selection for this battle be better than it was the last time? Honestly. Can you I'm fuck up a Mace? they killed you. Can you fuck up a Mace? Do you, have, do you have Mace's catalog? Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. I, you have Double Up. Absolutely. The Freestyles. Absolutely. Harlem World. Absolutely. Okay. I have all Baby Stace debut. <laughs> yes. Got it. Got all that. What does that Do you have I Don't Know Officer off the Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack? There's somewhere in there. <laughs> when, when are you guys doing this? Uh, we didn't get into dates yet. Yeah, no, nah, we just we just talked about it. But um, we're gonna do it though. All right, I, good. I'd, li- I'd like to do it soon. I just have to look at look at my schedule of staying inside. Your wow. schedule? <laughs> <laughs> have your assistant look it over. Well, yeah, no, I, I'll have my people. Yeah, talk that's to your people. because I think a lot of, a lot of people really don't know Mace's music in his catalog like that. Yes, they do. I don't think they do. They know a lot yes, of the they hits. Do. They know. They hit. I'm talking about just his cat things he's written. No, I don't think so either. That may be true, but you know what I'm saying? Like that's to me. But that's why I love this versus shit because I think that's what it does for art for artists. It, it it's such a, a huge platform. It shows people like it's not just the records you know. If they come mm. out the house, I I am yes. gonna have to. Uh, if they come out the house. I'm gonna have to implement some if, rules. If it don't you have know? to be postponed. Yes. If they don't go on a hugging spree. Right. Well, actually, Mo, <laughs> would you like to do this versus in the same room and maybe we perform the records? <laughs> That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be that, that would be fucking hilarious. That would be dope. Right? Yeah, that would be dope. That. Y'all should I'll be in the same room. Y'all, pay, pay y'all, y'all should be in the same room. Yeah, yeah let's I'll, do that. I'll pay let's do the same room. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funnier. I'm laughing already. But yeah, let's do that. Well, let's I have a handicap because one of the bigger words in hip hop, I do not you can't say. read. Oh. <laughs> well, no, I can rap. I just can't read. <laughs> Wait, what's funny. the handicap? Can you can't say nigga? Yeah. It's a huge handicap in Cam's No, no, get get rid of it. (laughs) Get rid of the handicap right now. Make make it even. This is you as Cam. It's okay now. You can say it. Got you. (laughs) You're just quoting him. Yeah, Yeah, you're quoting him. That's all. Yeah. And I quote. (laughs) And I quote. (laughs) Started every verse out. (laughs) And I quote. These are Cam's words, not mine. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, we'll 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 touch on this. Let keep me keep us posted when y'all. No, no, we're we're serious. We should have to figure it out. And actually I don't mind doing it in the same room for sound purposes, not actually us. Same room. But. Same room. Let's do it. Yeah, I think that would be good. Um, there was much to do about academics joining the chatty house. Nadeska set him up for the one eight seven. I thought, listen, man, if he would have called me, I probably would have told him how how that might have went. Yeah. <laughs> but he had no idea. He was none the wiser, and that made for everyone's entertainment that night. So what happened? Ag joined Chatty House. He got on Chatty House and and had to face the, the council, the Chatty House council. Mm. He had to go back and forth with WAP Dad. And 21 Savage and you? What'd no, you 21. Some? No, I wasn't in there as me. Uh. I, I wasn't <laughs> in burn? there. Yeah, I wasn't in there as me. 
You got a burner cup. You got a burner on the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a burner chatty? Yeah, Jake was in there. (laughs) (laughs) What? Yeah. Jake Button? Yeah, niggas didn't call Jake to the stage at all. Very different. I liked it. Jakey B? Yeah, (laughs) Jakey B. Um, Yeah, so Jake was in there checking it out. Act went back and forth with Guap Dad. They spoke to each other like they wanted to fight each other. Shout and, out to Guap Dad. I like, like Dad. I like him too. And like there's a boxing match coming up soon about. between them two. Act didn't back down from that challenge. Um, Meek stepped in there. Him and Act went back and forth for a little bit. That made his rounds throughout the internet because you guys are recording Chatty House conversations without uh, consent. Of course, sir. Against the rules. I can't believe you. I can't thought believe that it. wasn't going to yeah, happen. Yeah, I don't understand why you niggas just get to talking on this Chatty House shit as if fans are not taping and selling the yeah, blogs. Or, like, y'all are crazy. But Meek came in there, did a back and forth with Act, attempted to explain his position. Uh, excuse me. All of this appeared to be moderated by 21 Savage, who solidified his spot as one of the greatest hip-hop uh, mediators hmm. of all time. And okay. the conversation based, was based around... You right there, buddy? Me, indigestion. The conversation was based around, I guess, Axe's position in not only the culture, but street-esque, street-adjacent, street-ish shit. That's what I got. And this was hours long, and that's what happened. Sorry I missed it. So you missed it. You weren't in there on your burner. Rory wasn't in there. Maul wasn't in there. No. Hell no. I'm never on that shit. Did you guys at least hear about this? I've heard about it, yeah. I saw people on the timeline talking about it. I haven't haven't really fallen in love with Chat House, man. I hate it. I hate Chat House. I'm not going to lie. The the rooms are getting a little too big. Yeah. Too many people talking. It, It needs a mediator. From what I heard, 21 was a great one in this one, and that he should be like a couple counselor. <laughs> but uh, shout out to 21. But yeah, I, the, the rooms are getting too large for me. Yeah, it's I just, just don't want to hear over each other. I don't want yeah, to hear so that's I just don't want to hear none of these dudes talking. Like, I, it just feels like I'm on the phone with them, and I'm like, I don't ever want to hear this dude talk. <laughs> I don't like talking on the phone. Yeah, like, get off my phone. That's just how I feel with a lot of this shit. But I understand it. I understand the craze and the hype, and you know, everybody getting on it. And every day is more and more celebrities joining. I get all of that, but I, I, I'm i a pass on this one. All right, so you guys don't necessarily have a take on act versus Chatty House or I never have a take act on versus it. industry. No. No. I don't care not, about anything that dude does. Well, it was a hot room. It was 5,000 people in there. People couldn't get in the room. I get it. It heated up rather fast, and the talks were intense. Yeah. I'll say that. At some point, Tory Lanez came there as well and had discourse with Ack and How did Ack do? Uh, I have to imagine he was the one being attacked the entire time. Yes. How did he do? If you're asking me, I thought he handled himself well. Okay. Better than I would have imagined in such a angry, hostile environment. But when you're talking on the phone, <clears throat> I was going to say, like Ack is used to talking on the phone and talking to the camera and talking to people without actually having to talk to people. So I imagine that he would have been okay there. Um, but when he has to be the one, when when the whole, the industry targeting him is like a different, I don't know, I have a real, I have a real, I have really different takes on all of that. I won't share them publicly, but people are powerful when you make them powerful. Sure. And <laughs> I'll say that. Shit is crazy. That shit ended with all them niggas laughing and joking and I was confused. Well, I was just about to ask. I was super which I confused. Kind of think I know the answer to without super even hearing confused. it. Super confused. Was anything resolved all or answered? Niggas, all, all you niggas is clout chasing. Not you niggas, as in the niggas that was in that room, because Jake was in that room. But <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of clout chasing hmm. shit going. It's a lot of niggas that hate act but want to be in his good graces. It's confusing. Hmm. It's confusing. Like when I hate a nigga, Who I wants hate to him. be in his good graces. A lot of people. Do. I would imagine uh, yeah. up and coming artists <laughs> would like what? would like to be in his good graces. Sure. I imagine it's some true, established Maul. artists it's, like it's to true. be in his good graces. It's true. Uh, hip hop yeah. is turning into something else, man. I don't know what's going on. Turning into now or, or already started. I said it's too. turned into something okay. else. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got yeah, it. Yeah, I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> all right, and that's my yeah. that's all I got there. So, Did, what it. a deep dive. <laughs> didn't hear it. I got Hottest to topic of the week in hour three. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing for Very you. little detail. Ta-da! 
Is there anything else happening right this second that we need to discuss? Uh, is there, is there any breaking news? Oh, wait a minute. We got breaking news. Breaking, breaking, breaking. You bitches are ruining the giraffe hotel. <laughs> what? What's that? Oh, overseas. Oh, my God. I think it's in Ghana. It's in Africa. It's somewhere. But, man, if I see a... Let me shut up, because then they're going to paint me as the grumpy internet guy again. And I do want to go to Wait, the Giraffe are, Hotel. I'm just mad that all of the girls are going there taking pictures. Just like that little mountain, that Arctic shit where it's... I, I've memorized all the pictures that women take from all over the world that look touristy. Mm. Well, are there giraffes? Even though hotel? somebody died off that that little... Wherever that little rock... Was that Australia or somewhere? Wherever that rock is where it's a big-ass waterfall and nothing but mountains behind no, you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> We're all struggling. Yeah, somebody fell and died uh, in at that place while their husband and their two kids watched. Is that the one where they show people like h- hanging on the edge of the cliff and like, would yes. you? Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I know that yes. one. Okay. Then there's the other one with the, the, the slide out pool. There's a bunch of them out there, but y'all are killing me with the giraffe hotel shit. Is there any other well, I'm, breaking I'm asking, news? is there giraffes at the Yeah, hotel? right there. Oh, it's fire. I'm not killing anyone for going there. No, it is fire. I want to meet giraffes. overdone. Look at that. What does it mean? You what can't. a beauty! <laughs> Such a majestic. <laughs> look <animal>. at Jeffrey. <laughs> See, look now. I'm not trying to eat breakfast, and the giraffe stick his neck in and eat my breakfast. I mean, what's he want? Chicks love anything you can Instagram. I want to eat my breakfast. I was in. Do a, you smell like the coleslaw? Because you can have that. When I was in Aruba, I love all the, uh, the iguanas and shit that would just chill around the breakfast area. And for like the first day, I was like, "Oh, this is dope." Feed them a little bit, like chill the iguanas. By day three. It's like, get this fucking mini Godzilla away from me. <laughs> I'm not giving him. it any more bacon. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, no. Nah. Definitely not feeding no iguanas or giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> not on this vacation, but not how much I paid for this shit. I'm feeding myself. <laughs> Drake and French have been photographed in Turks. Does that mean we're getting the annual Drake and French record? Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime they link up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny, Rory. Uh, I hope I hope they're doing music together. They have a pretty good track record. They have a great they have a great track record. <laughs> yeah. Drake, put the album out, man. It's time. Also, that Drake versus Puff thing was probably one of my favorite beefs this decade. That was pretty good. The one. silent beefs. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy how quiet they kept that one, even though it wasn't that quiet. But what it was, it was quiet. All you self promoters are janky. <laughs> <laughs> We're established like the Yankees. <laughs> that guy's good. Aubrey's good. You know why it's, 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 a, it's a it's a it's a you in a disadvantage when Drake start his shit talking to you though. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, because it's like you know it's is is valid. You know what I mean? So it's like what you, you know it's say? valid. It's valid. What you gonna say? Well, self promoters are janky. That's a, that. Now that's the truth. That's the truth. All right, that's it. That's all I got. I have nothing else to report. Oh, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I, did, I just said stop, 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 relax. You're too hype, too hype to play sleeper, relax. Um, Is there anything else that the culture needs us to speak about? No, right? Excuse me? I spoke about it already. I think that was the first thing we spoke about if you were really doing the timestamps and paying attention. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Great pod, great uh, pod. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mm. Mic check, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Same for everybody, everybody ain't gonna understand. Hey, naked bitches. Again, shout out to Puff. Congratulations. The other night, man, when I was uh, making a few calls trying to see what was going on for New Year's Eve, I hit Puff. He didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> it's quiet. Yeah, it was quiet. Made me feel like he didn't want me there, but I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm coming. Up. Seeing D nice on the chatty house. Thought I would get some inside intel. Yo, D, what, what you doing? <laughs> He's like, yo, I'm just going to do club quarantine on Instagram. Like, fam, 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 yeah. fam. That's not what I'm here for. I'm going to go get a huge bag. Not what I was looking for. Yeah, that's the party left out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, niggas is getting big bags in the 2021. I see y'all. 
And I want in. <laughs> Trey bag is sold in the park mall once in. Uh, <laughs> niggas throwing a day party anywhere. Rory wants in. I'm going to tax you for it. Joe Hooker, shout out to him. They're not feeling me yet. They're not feeling me yet. A big part of that puff sauce, too, is, is Hove attempting to steal it for a portion of his career. No disrespect, Hove. You know I love you. Oh, man. How can we cut this off on beat? <laughs> oh. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Check this out. I want to thank everybody for joining us on this audio adventure. I want to thank the day ones and the last days for listening. Thank you to Cash App. Thank you to everybody out there to rock. Hey. What's up, Baisley? You wasn't outside for this. <laughs> Baisley's great. I want it all. Outside. No lie. Hey. Hope y'all enjoyed the pod. Real good podcast this week, gentlemen. Yeah, enjoy it. Real good podcast. Everybody enjoy their week. Never happen, never occur. Wait a minute! Yo, you fuck with Hov? Huh? You fuck with Hov? Who, me? Yeah. I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dick riding again. <laughs> I found a whole verse in our Puff tribute. <laughs> mm-hmm. What Maul gonna do when Welcome to New York City drop? Nothing. <laughs> Maul ain't going to do nothing, but be proud to be from New York City. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. Yeah. Yo, the Cameron really, uh, welcome to Rockefeller Party in Limelight. Oh, my God. Whenever that was. Went up. It went up. It went up. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank all y'all for listening out there. We'll be back same time, same place, Saturday. You know the vibes. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time we bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, so long, goodbye, peace, deuces, 100, whatever you choose to say. Remember, life is a series of moments. Oh, hold up. Can't picture it. Why is Hove trying to kill Puff? <laughs> 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 Nigga, if you don't take your rapping ass home. <laughs> you can't even picture it. <laughs> can't picture it. Just having a regular watch on. Better yet, picture you. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me to don't tell me to picture me for 16 yeah. bars and then say, you know what? Picture you. Picture you, yeah. loser nigga. <laughs> um, all right, we out of here, man. Keep us oh, I did it already. Uh Life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Advertisers, call Ian, man. We need money. We'll put your shit right here. <laughs> Until then, we're getting out of here. Subscribe to the YouTube. We'll be back Saturday. Best podcast in the world. You know the vibes. Keep your heat on 90. <laughs> huh? Keep your heat on 90. <laughs> Niggas be going home to snuggle up with themselves. <laughs> Can't oh, wait. hold on, hold on. All right, Hope. All right, okay. <laughs> you know when they pull a record yeah, back? Yeah, what is he doing, man? on top of that. Hold up. Wait. Stop the tape. You got to relax. Go home. All right, we out of here, man. We'll see y'all on Saturday. Let me hit this drop so y'all know what time it is. No, 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 no,